Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Dimension. Sign into Lilu Core at the beginning. Chapter 61. Oh, my little brother doesn't seem to believe it. Alicia tilted her head slightly and said. No, I just think you are beautiful, Alicia. Oh, are you so direct? I'm a little embarrassed. Alicia covered her mouth lightly, her beautiful eyes were full of surprises. I think you can bear it. Ling Zan shrugged. Aha. Alicia made an inexplicable sound. But judging from the melodiousness of the voice, it was obvious that he was in a good mood. Yes, Ellie. Well, I'm here. Next time, don't give Xiao Chong cold food. She is still a child and can't control her mouth. Eating too much will hurt her stomach. Ling Zan said. That pudding, I gave it for a week. Excuse me, is it possible? Ai Li was startled, covered her mouth, and looked at Xiao Chong in surprise. Ling Zan. Xiao Chong was so guilty that he didn't dare to look at Ling Zan. Xiao Chong. After a moment of silence, Ling Zan shouted seriously. Sister Ellie help. Xiao Chong was so frightened that the hair on his head stood on end, as if longing for the fusion of gemstones, he turned into a gust of wind, and quickly hid behind Alicia, looking at Ling Zan in fear. Don't think that I dare not deal with you if there are outsiders. Ling Zan said, viciously. Oh, so I'm an outsider. It's really hurtful. Alicia covered her face with tears, I thought we were already friends. Ling Zan. Xiao Chong cheered on from behind. Well done Ellie. That's it, leaving my brother speechless. Forget it this time, lie next time and see if I beat you up. Ling Zan said. Slightly, hiding behind Alicia, Xiao Chong stuck out her pink tongue. Brave the sky, not afraid of power. Well, Xiao Chong, how can you be so cute? Alicia, who noticed Xiao Chong's expression, felt her heart melted. Holding Xiao Chong in his arms, two fair cheeks pressed against each other. Feeling Xiao Chong's warm cheeks, Alicia showed a relieved expression on her face. It's not like your brother at all, which is very nice. Ling Zan, why does this sound strangely familiar? Don't be afraid, Xiao Chong. From now on, when your brother kills you, come to elder sister Alicia, and she will protect you. Cover me. Xiao Chong was puzzled, and subconsciously looked at Alicia's chest. Then she smiled sweetly, thank you sister. Wow, so cute. Alicia buried Xiao Chong's head in her arms. Ling Zan. There is one thing to say, he prefers the inside of the cover to the outside of the cover. It is said that the air inside is different from the outside, cough. After staying for a while, Ling Zan took Xiao Chong back. Ding, how does the host feel? The system's voice suddenly sounded. Good job, I reward you for giving me one more chance to sign in. Ling Zan smiled. System. The host has really thick skin. Give a sentence, the system will be hidden. Really, it's obviously a good situation for everyone. Ling Zan shook his head. Looking up, the afterglow of dusk fell on the house. I didn't expect to stay at Alicia's house for an entire afternoon. Shaking his head, Ling Zan took Xiao Chong back home. Time flies. In the blink of an eye, five days have passed. Today is the day when the results are announced, and you can check your scores online. However, Ling Zan looked at the people in front of him speechlessly. Let's not talk about Aisha and Xiao Chong. It's okay for the three of them to come, but you, Alicia, came here anyway. Is it he who checks the score or you check the score? I've already done the math, and it's only about 600 points, nothing to look at, Ling Zan said. Oh, you can't say that, this is the proof of your high school graduation. Alicia laughed. That's right. I'm going to be a junior next year, so it's good to get acquainted with it in advance. Kiana said. Branya is also looking forward to Ling Zan's results. I don't think you will refuse the requests of some beautiful girls like flowers. Alicia blinked her crystal flower eyes and said cutely. Ling Zan, just as long as you are happy. He <laughs> he, Ling Zan is so kind. Anyone is fine in your eyes. Ling Zan said helplessly. Hum, that's not necessarily the case. Alicia winked and said playfully. Go in, go in. At this time, Kiana's excited voice came. The crowd immediately surrounded the past. This is, 600 points. Aisha was surprised when she saw the score. No, that's not the point. Why does Ling Zan get 0 points in Chinese, but he can still get 600? Kiana pointed at the score on the computer screen with a confused look on her face. 
Oh, what are you talking about? There are too many things to write in the Chinese paper, so I didn't write it. Ling Zan replied after hearing it. Why? Kiana looked at Ling Zan in a daze. What kind of answer is this? Don't write because there are too many, and then the total score is 750, you can still get 600. It's just a random exam, and I don't plan to go to college. Ling Zan stretched his waist and said. How angry. I was exhausted and couldn't pass, but Ling Zan got a full score in the exam, but it was as easy as eating and drinking. Kiana was instantly depressed. Ling Zan smiled. Don't be angry, I'll treat you to dinner tonight. Kiana's pupils lit up, and she raised her hand, I want to eat hot pot. Quote dot quote. May and Branya covered their faces at the same time. Can you stand firmer? But with this score, you can go to some good schools. Alicia looked at the score on the screen and said. Let's see then. Ling Zan did not deny it. Instead of thinking about this, next Monday, which is three days later, is a graduation trip. Do you want to go together? Ling Zan started the next topic. Is it going to Zhuang Town? Kiana said. Well, that's the place. I would follow the school bus, but I can transport you here through the imaginary space. Ling Zan nodded. Kiana looked at Mei. Mei, do you have any plans for Monday? I don't have any plans. Mei shook her head. Where's Branya? Three days are enough for me to assemble the parts. Branya had no objection. Great. Oh, you've all gone, don't you have the heart to see a flower-like spring girl at home? Alicia touched her tears and said, crying. Quote dot 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 quote. Speaking of which, I always think you look familiar. After a moment of silence, Kiana stared at Ellie and said, Ah, have we met before? It's impossible, I will never forget the lovely girl. Alicia wondered. This tone, and pink hair. Kiana frowned. By the way, what's your name, lady? My name, my name is Alicia, a beautiful girl as beautiful as a flying flower. Alicia blinked and smiled lightly. May, Kiana, Branya, Ali. After hearing the name, all three fell silent. Ha, huh, why aren't you talking anymore? Alicia asked curiously. They're just stupid. Ling Zan shook his head and laughed. It's a familiar tone, and it's still named Ellie. The three of them looked at each other, and they had realized it in their hearts. The girl in front of me is probably the prototype of the fairy Airy. After figuring it out, the three of them looked at Alicia with extremely complicated expressions. Um, Alicia put her hands behind her back, tilted her body and looked at the three of them with a smile. This guy looks like he's more troublesome than Ellie the fairy. What a group of cute and beautiful girls. Alicia looked at the three who left, with a smile on her face. Ling Zan, you seem to like girls very much. Of course, girls are a gift from heaven, especially beautiful girls, who wouldn't like them. Alicia chuckled. Ling Zan had nothing to say about this answer. Ling Zan knew that she was Lily from the beginning. Seeing that Ling Zan didn't speak, Alicia leaned over to look at Ling Zan, and smiled slightly, then, I'm leaving too. Well, welcome to play. Ling Zan nodded. Don't you want to keep it? Then you will definitely stay. Ling Zan glanced at her and said. Oh, do you think I'm such a thick-skinned person? I'm a little sad, but I will cry. Alicia said in a low tone. Then you are crying. Ling Zan rolled her eyes. Hey, fierce, weeping. Immediately, Alicia really made a sobbing movement. Hey, it's okay, don't mess with it, you can stay as long as you want. Ling Zan stretched out his hand to stop it, and said with a headache. Hey, next second, Alicia turned from cloudy to sunny, stuck out her little tongue, and showed a playful smile at Ling Zan. Ling Zan, a woman's face is like the weather, it changes when it changes. I'm going to play with Xiao Chong, bye. Ellie waved her hand and left the room. After Alicia left, Ling Zan sighed. The body lay on the bed, quietly looking at the ceiling. Oh, I almost forgot something. Suddenly, Ellie's head came into his sight. What's wrong? Ling Zan said flatly. Under Hersher's perception, he naturally knew that Alicia was standing behind the door and was going to make a surprise attack to scare him. So there was no panic at the sudden appearance of Alicia. Seeing that Ling Zan was not frightened, Alicia showed a little disappointment. But in a flash, a sweet smile appeared on his face again. Tonight's hot pot, can I join you? Ling Zan froze for a moment, then chuckled, of course. Okay, 
Bye. Ellie waved her little hand. Bye bye. After sending Ailee away, Ling Zong closed his eyes. I fell asleep without knowing it. Dot dot dot. Brother, brother, don't sleep, get up and eat. In the hazy voice, Ling Zong opened his eyes in a daze. It was found that Xiao Chong was sitting on his stomach, shaking his body nonstop. What time is it? Rubbing his eyes, Ling Zong asked sleepily. It's already 11.40, Xiao Chong said. Is it this late? Ling Zong froze for a moment, then slowly sat up. I don't know why recently, I'm very sleepy. Ling Zong got up from the bed and brushed his teeth. Just woke up with a sticky mouth. When he came down, Xiao Chong couldn't wait to start eating, only Aisha was waiting for him quietly. As for Alicia, she has already gone back. Mr. Ling Zong, you are awake. You don't have to wait for me next time, just eat first. Ling Zong said softly. Fine. Aisha smiled softly, looked at Ling Zong who was seated and said, Mr. Ling Zong, Miss Ran Bing came to me today and said that Mark was awake. Really? Good thing. Ling Zong said casually. Is there anything else? Seeing Aisha's expression, Ling Zong asked curiously. She said she wanted to invite you to visit her. A guest. Ling Zong chuckled. It's fake to be a guest, but it's true to be in trouble. Mr. Ling Zon, are you going? Go, why don't you go? No matter how you say it, you are also my apostle, there is no reason to ignore it. Oh, Aisha replied with a low interest. Ling Zon, who noticed Aisha's expression, couldn't help chuckling. What, are you unhappy that you didn't become my apostle? Ah, uh, no, I'm already very happy to be by Ling Zon's side, how can I dare to hope to become an apostle? Aisha's tone weakened after seeing through her thoughts. There is no extravagance that is not extravagant. You are so easy to understand. Ling Zong shook his head and tapped lightly on Aisha's forehead. Well, Aisha, whose forehead was tapped, narrowed her eyes and made a cute voice. Xiao Chong watched the two of them put rice into their mouths with chopsticks expressionlessly. I don't want to eat any food, but it reminds me. Aisha, do you have any favorite weapons? Arms. Aisha thought about it, and subconsciously looked at the cross on her chest. Cross, Ling Zong groaned. The cross is a good weapon, but is it too heavy for Aisha? After all, Aisha is just an ordinary nanny, without the strange power unique to the Kazlana family. Correct, Ling Zong's eyes lit up, and the power of structure emerged in his hand. Immediately afterwards, a cherry blossom-colored Judas was slowly constructed. This is for you. Handed over the constructed Sakura Judas. Aisha looked suspiciously at the cherry colored Judas who was only six centimeters lying quietly in Ling Zon's hands. Usually you just wear this cross, Ling Zon said. Okay. After hearing this, Aisha silently replaced the cross on her chest with the cherry colored Judas made by Ling Zon. At this moment, she also gradually lost the original restraint. It is a good progress that Ling Zon can accept what Ling Zon gave. Aisha held Judas on her chest, feeling warm in her heart. Brother, Xiao Chong wants to. At this moment, Xiao Chong's abrupt voice sounded. Her eyes were fixed on Ling Zon. Quote dot quote. The power of structure in Ling Zon's hand reappeared. An identical cherry-colored Judas emerged and placed in front of Xiao Chong. Xiao Chong immediately picked it up happily. Aisha also showed a gentle smile. Jingle bell. Afternoon, Ling Zon who was watching the video, was interrupted by the switched phone. Look at the familiar name above. He really wanted to hang up right away. But then the corner of his mouth raised. Snapped. With a snap of the fingers, the imaginary space emerged, and Alicia appeared directly next to Ling Zon. Alicia's small face was stunned by the sudden teleportation, and she didn't even react. It wasn't until I saw Ling Zon on the sofa that I came back to my senses, and said in an educational tone, Ling Zon, it's very impolite to call you a girl so abruptly. I haven't dressed up yet, but I'm cute without it. Help me answer the phone. Ling Zon handed over the phone. Um, Alicia snorted slightly, then rolled her eyes, and took it with a smile. Press the call button. Hello, Ling Zon. Hi, this is Alicia, what can I do for you? Han Cheng was dumbfounded as soon as he said it. Who are you, Ling Zon? Han Cheng was puzzled when he heard the slightly mischievous voice. I am a beautiful girl like a flower who was seized by the demon king. Alicia cried. Han Cheng. For a moment, 
he felt that Ling Zan had changed his card. This little brother, what can you tell me, Ling Zan is sleeping now. Han Chang, what's your relationship with Ling Zan? Me, Alicia glanced at Ling Zan, tapped her slender index finger on the cherry lips, and smiled slyly, I'm his girlfriend. What the hell, Han Chang was stunned and subconsciously burst into his mother tongue. Ah, brother Ling is awake. Alicia stuffed the phone into Ling Zan's hand with a dazed expression. Hello, Ling Zan who picked up the phone subconsciously made a sound. Immediately afterwards, Han Cheng's sour voice came, Ling Zan, you really deserve to die. It's not enough to have Aisha and Kiana, but there is another one. Jealousy made him unrecognizable, Ling Zan. Hearing the voice of envy, jealousy and hatred from the other side, Ling Zan rolled his eyes at Alicia. In this regard, Alicia just made a playful face at him. Don't say I hung up. Ling Zan directly uses the charm of language to solve the problem fundamentally. You, Han Cheng was angry, but he calmed down soon. Taking a breath, he asked, have you checked your score? Checked, how many, you speak first, no, you first. Bye, wait, what kind of score are you talking about with me as a recommender? Han Cheng said. Why are you talking about scores with me? Ling Zan asked back. Han Cheng was taken aback. Seems to be right. Aren't you curious which school I recommended? Not curious. Why? Because I want to kill you in a hurry. Ling Zan said lazily. This guy Han Cheng called him in full swing, just to show off. But Ling Zan just didn't give him a chance. Han Cheng. Confusion in capital letters floated on his face. PFF. Ha ha ha. Suddenly, an unrestrained laughter sounded beside Han Cheng. No matter how depressed Han Cheng is at the moment, this voice is as harsh as it is. His face immediately darkened, looking at the girl sitting on his bed who was shaking with laughter, without hesitation, she picked up the thermos cup on the table and threw it over, showing no sign of pity. Boom, ah, it hurts. The girl who was hit stopped smiling for an instant, and looked at Han Cheng with her beautiful white teeth, you are going to die. Besides, go out to eat by yourself at night. Han Cheng's face was serious, and he showed the majesty of an elder brother. The girl's complexion changed, and her neck shrank. A flattering smile appeared on his face. Dear brother, I know I was wrong. Han Cheng snorted and continued to look at the phone. But he has switched the speakerphone to earpiece mode. Be nice to your sister, she's already stupid, if she goes on like this, she'll be useless. Ling Zan said with emotion. Other people's elder brothers always want to protect their younger sisters. Han Cheng's family is different. He takes pleasure in bullying his sister. In Han Cheng's words, isn't his younger sister his doormat? Han Cheng glanced at Han Yu who was lying on the bed, touching her little head, and said, she is useless. Ling Zan chuckled lightly. Tell me, which school to recommend? After the episode just now, he stopped teasing Han Cheng. Zhongcheng University. Han Cheng said concisely. So far away, Ling Zan froze for a moment. Kanglin City is in the south, while Zhongcheng is in the northwest. Across half the country, the teleportation array will arrive in an instant. I don't think there will be chances to meet each other in the future. Han Cheng sat on the chair, looked at the bright sky outside, and sighed. I hope you can learn something. Ling Zan didn't care. You really don't think about it. Look, like I said before, School is not that important to me anymore. Ling Zan laughed. Okay, as long as you are happy. Thinking of Ling Zan's strength, Han Cheng sighed. Has the heavenly fire sacred judgment been used? No one tried the sword. Han Cheng said. Speaking of which, I plan to go to the Relic Forest during the summer vacation, do you want to come together? Relic Forest. Ling Zan was stunned for a moment, and the corresponding information could not help appearing in his mind. It was an area under the jurisdiction of the military, and there were many monsters ranging from G to S rank, and it was generally used as a place for trials. There is a military point system there, hunting monsters can get corresponding points, and thus obtain various combat skills provided by the military. It can be regarded as a channel open for civilians. After thinking for a while, Ling Zan asked, what did you fancy? There is a sword technique called, Heavenly Fire and Nine Furies, which I like very much. Listening to Han Cheng's words, Ling Zan opened the tablet, and searched for the rewards of the Relic Forest point system on it. The so-called, 
Nine Furies of Heaven and Fire, is an A-level fire-type combat skill. It has a strong superimposed effect of accumulating power, which is very suitable for those with great sword-shaped fire abilities. Ling Zan thought for a while, then asked, when are you going? One week after graduation trip. Okay, take me with you when the time comes. Ha, huh, you guys didn't refuse. Han Cheng was a little surprised. Go and play, maybe you can meet something good. Ling Zan chuckled. Okay, I'll call you then. Quote dot 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 quote. After continuing to chat for a while, Han Cheng hung up the phone. Looking at the group photo of the two of them in junior high school on the table, a smile could not help but appear on the corner of their mouths. Sister, let's go and practice with me. Picking up the suitcase of Tianwo Shunkai, Han Cheng looked at Han Yu who was lying on his bed and playing with his mobile phone, and said. Hey, I just started this game, can I wait? Han Yu looked reluctant. Do you still want to eat tonight? Quote dot dot dot, can you stop threatening me with food all the time? Han Yu broke out. A small body hides a huge amount of energy. Then you do it yourself. Han Cheng said flatly. Forehead, Han Yu, who was still angry at first, stopped talking for a moment. Why don't you go out to eat? Are you rich? Han Cheng raised his eyebrows. Well, Han Yu pouted. It's frustrating, but it's true. Why is she, a girl, being manipulated in cooking? Ah, see if I don't blow you up. Unable to pass, Han Yu quit the game directly, stood up and said loudly. I'm looking forward to it. Han Cheng smiled contemptuously. Immediately afterwards, the two headed towards the basement. The Han family can be regarded as the overlord of the entire Kanglin city. It's not surprising that there are underground battle rooms. White basement. A man and a woman are opposed to each other. At this moment, Han Cheng had already equipped the Heavenly Fire Sacred Judge. Is this the weapon brother Ling gave you? Let him give me one next time too. Looking at Han Cheng who has his own martial arts, Han Yu's eyes are full of envy. The Heavenly Fire Sacred Judgment has been analyzed. The technology inside can't be found even with the most advanced and professional instruments today, and the core of the driver is even more mysterious. You have to talk to him about it yourself. With two guns in one, an orange Skyfire greatsword was Nirvana after ashes, revealing its true face. Boom, the tip of the sword touched the ground lightly, making a crisp sound. Han Yu took a deep breath. The cold air in his hand condensed, forming an ice crystal longbow. Different from ordinary bows and arrows, the sides of this bow are unusually sharp. Just a light stroke is enough to make people drink blood. The ice bow was guarded by Han Yuhang, looking at Han Cheng warily. Her favorite weapon is a bow and arrow, but it is very stupid to use a bow and arrow at this distance so she tried bow fighting. Coming, with a reminder, Han Cheng rushed over with his sword in hand. The blue light of Han Yu's pupils flashed past. Holding the handle of the bow with one hand, he slashed at Han Cheng like a ring blade. Dot dot dot. As time goes by, it's evening in the blink of an eye. Ling Zan. Kiana waved her little hand, and Yu Sanjia entered the room. Ling Zan, is my weapon ready? Behind the three of them was a crumbly GZ. As soon as we meet, ask people if they have done something well. Ling Zan raised his eyebrows. Isn't this an expectation? Jizi came to Ling Zan familiarly, and put his arms around Ling Zan's neck. Feeling the fragrance of roses from Jizi's body, Ling Zan's face remained unchanged, but he gently pushed her away. Now is not the time to enjoy, but Kiana is staring at him. Follow me. After saying a word, he walked towards the house. Jizi's pupils lit up, and he hurried to follow. In the room, a blood-red sword lay quietly there. Jeezy couldn't wait to walk over and stroke the blade lightly. The elegant shape like a blood queen made her heart beat. The moment she picked it up, she felt as if she had known it for many years. Can this really be given to me? Jeezy excitedly asked, holding a bloody sword. Don't worry, it's not over yet. I saw Ling Zan walking over with a ball of blood red liquid. In front of Jeezy, he fell on the big sword. In an instant, the blood colored liquid wrapped around the sword. It makes the already gorgeous big sword a little more strange. Jeezy's beautiful eyes flashed. He looked at the big sword wrapped in scarlet liquid in surprise. Okay, it's complete now. Ling Zan looked at the big sword, as if he was very satisfied with his masterpiece. How, Ling Zan, 
who put the glass bottle on the table, looked at Jeezy and asked. Like an old friend, Jeezy looked at the big sword with indescribable satisfaction on his face. Ling Zong was noncommittal, but the blood dance launcher was not for talking. What's the use of the liquid on it? GZ looked curiously at the thing that was wrapped around the big sword and hardened when touched, like a non-Newtonian fluid, said. She didn't quite understand, but Ling Zan must have his own reason for pouring these liquids on purpose. Oh, it's useless, I just think it looks better this way. Ling Zan glanced at it and said casually. GZ. GZ opened his mouth to say something, but finally closed it weakly. She didn't know what to say for a while, she was a whore for nothing, and what more bicycles do she need? Putting away the big sword, Jeezy came out with Ling Zan. Jeezy, where are the weapons? Let's see. The moment the two came out, Kiana and the others surrounded them. Among them, Kiana and Branya were the most excited. One wants to see the outside and the other wants to see the inside. Here it is, don't worry. Jeezy chuckled, and took the big sword out of the storage space. In an instant, the blood-red sword caught everyone's eyes. This sword is so strange. Kiana was curious, and reached out to touch the flowing red liquid lightly. Unexpectedly, the moment Kiana touched it, the circulating liquid hardened. Ha, huh, it will harden. This thing is so interesting. It's soft when you don't touch it, but it hardens when you touch it. Kiana said curiously. Ling Zan looked strange. Is there something wrong with him, or something wrong with Kiana? Ling Zan, is your ability a blacksmith? Alicia looked at Dance of Blood for a while, then turned to look at Ling Zan curiously. No, my ability is her. Ling Zan shook his head, pointing to Ruishui in Xiao Chong's arms. Xiao Ruishui, Alicia froze. Remember, hard work makes up for it. Ruishui stood with two fingers in front of her, and followed the words. The blue Ruishui sword appeared in the void. Seeing the appearance of Ruishujian, Alicia was surprised. Could it be that Xiao Ruishui is the legendary sword spirit? She always thought that Ruishui was the latest AI doll, but she didn't expect it to be Ling Zan's ability. That's fine. Touching Ruishui's head, Ling Zan said. Quote dot 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 quote. After continuing to chat for a while, everyone set off. Aren't Eden and Aponia back yet? When passing Alicia's house, Ling Zan suddenly said while looking at the dark room. Do you remember, but next time I will be happier to call my name. Alicia looked at Ling Zan and smiled. Um, definitely next time. When he met Alicia's flawless sapphire pupils, Ling Zan couldn't help but jump. It's done, you can't go back on your word. Um. Alicia chuckled, as if she was satisfied with Ling Zan's answer. Lightly pointing her fair cheek with a finger, Alicia said, Eden and Aponia probably won't be back in two weeks, after all, they are busy people. As he spoke, he couldn't help sighing. Let me tell you, both Eden and Aponia are very beautiful girls, although they are not as good as me. Alicia's words were as lively as a fairy dancing among flowers. Ling Zan, suddenly I don't have any desire to see you anymore. What's the reason? Alicia wondered. Ling Zan raised the corner of his mouth and smiled, because in front of me there is someone who is prettier than them. Alicia was taken aback, and immediately covered her mouth lightly. Oops, Mei Mu looked at Ling Zan in surprise. Obviously, she didn't expect Ling Zan to say such a thing. Dot dot dot. After dinner, the people did not choose to go home, but went shopping. Aisha stood obediently beside Ling Zan. Kiana, Mei, Branya, Aisha, Xiaochong, Hameko, Alicia. There are seven people in total. Ling Zan, who was surrounded by smoke and smoke, made the men around him envious. Regarding this, Ling Zan was very calm. The eyes of these people are not as penetrating as the group of people in the spirit cage world. In front of a clothing store. Is Ling Xuanyu really not coming in? Alicia joked. No, I'll just wait for you outside. Ling Zan shook his head. Then I'll stay too, Aisha said, just about to go out, but was held back by Alicia. After whispering a few words in Aisha's ear, Aisha's face blushed immediately. No, no, that's too fast. The head shook like a rattle. Then don't you want to make Ling Zan happy? The corners of Alicia's mouth curled up, and she blew softly in Aisha's ear. In an instant, Aisha shuddered. Ling Zan looked helpless. Alicia, stop teasing Aisha, she has no face. We, 
Then we'll go in first. After the girls entered, Ling Zan turned around and came to the milk tea shop next to him. After ordering the milk tea, Ling Zan looked at his phone. Ling Zan, at this time, a surprised voice sounded. Turning his head, he saw Han Cheng biting a popsicle and looking at him curiously. You came out too, Ling Zan said in surprise. I didn't expect such a coincidence. Ham, it's not that my sister has a stomachache and can't get out of bed, so I came to buy medicine for her. Holding up the plastic bag in his hand, Han Cheng said helplessly. Ling Zan gave Han Cheng a strange look. Although, why are they all medicines for bruises and burns? But he is too lazy to take care of other people's housework. Wait a minute, it happens that my milk tea is ready, take two cups back later. Then, he said to the little girl who made milk tea, two cups are packed separately. Hey, can you finish this much? Han Cheng asked after glancing at the milk tea on the counter. I didn't drink it, as Ling Zan said. He picked up a straw, inserted it into a cup of fruit tea, and drank it. Han Cheng. 0.0. What are you looking at? I drink fruit tea, not milk tea. Noticing Han Cheng's expression, Ling Zan explained. Then these. Ling Zan. Buy it, let's go to the next one. Han Cheng's words were interrupted before he could finish. Immediately afterwards, he saw a group of beautiful girls approaching. From childhood to imperial, everything that one expects to find. They were carrying shopping bags, and the silver-haired girl at the front waved to Ling Zan. Well, okay. Ling Zan nodded. E.H., that one, you are also here. Kiana noticed Han Cheng on the side, and wanted to call out his name, but was embarrassed to find that she forgot what the other party's name was. Hello, Mr. Han Cheng. At this time, Aisha politely said to Han Cheng. Sorry. Hearing what Aisha said, Kiana suddenly remembered, and immediately scratched her head in embarrassment. No, it's okay. Han Cheng's eyes twitched. Sir, your milk tea is ready. At this moment, the milk tea girl behind her said. Ling Zan nodded, picked up the packaged one and handed it to Han Cheng. Go back quickly, your sister is still waiting for you at home. Han Cheng, is there a possibility? He means, he wanted to throw the medicine into the trash can and go shopping with Ling Zan. What's wrong? Ling Zan asked curiously seeing that Han Cheng hadn't moved for a long time. Han Cheng took a deep breath and showed a warm expression. I was just wondering if it would be useful to curse the villain. Ling Zan, is this to play curse kill? Han Cheng, Ling Zan, listen to my brother's advice. The Shira field is very dangerous, you can't control it. Ling Zan frowned. So, Han Cheng chuckled. Let Wei Wei help you share the burden. Ling Zan. Get lost, hurry up and go home, your sister is still lying on the bed. Ling Zan said disgustedly. Han Cheng said, just lie down and lie down. Every pain she suffers is a successful transformation. The tempering of blood and fire will only make her reborn from nirvana. Forehead. Ling Zan was taken aback for a moment, he was stunned by the truth of Han Cheng's words. Then he couldn't help but sigh with emotion. Is this the charm of language? Kiana and the others stared blankly at Ling Zan and Han Chang. There was one thing to say, but they didn't understand. After glancing at Aisha and the others, Han Chang dragged Ling Zan to the side tree. Brother, my good brother, brother, I am 18 years old this year, 19 years old, 20 years old, 21 years old. I am still single. And then, what does this have to do with me? Ling Zan had a question mark on his face. Han Cheng immediately showed a worried expression. Do you know that in recent years, I have not slept well every night, and I have been obsessed with studying. Only you, brother, can help me if I have lived to this extent. Is it okay for you to eat meat and let me drink some soup? Han Cheng put his arms around Ling Zan's neck with one hand, and grabbed Ling Zan's arm with the other, with a sincere tone and tears. It can be said that the listener is sad and the hearer sheds tears. Can't sleep well. Stupid and staring, Ling Zan listened to Han Cheng's words with disbelief. He can understand that he can't sleep. After all, when he is old, he will be restless in the middle of the night. Why don't you try orthopedics? Ling Zan suggested. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Han Cheng looked at Ling Zan with a question mark on his face. Is this okay to say? Han Cheng asked. I think it's okay, 
as long as your dad breaks your third leg, you can sleep in the morning or at night. Ling Zan smiled. But this smile was as terrifying as a devil in Han Cheng's eyes. You are a devil. Han Cheng trembled. Well, seeing his former friends so, down and down, Ling Zan couldn't help but let out a long sigh. Patting Han Cheng on the shoulder, he said earnestly, it's not that brother doesn't want to help you, but you can't control it. Except for Aisha, you can't beat anyone here. You mean, I'm allowed to approach Xiaochong? Han Cheng asked in surprise. Ling Zan was taken aback for a moment, and his face immediately turned dark. Pushing away Han Cheng's hand, he kicked his ass, go away. Hey, if you can't do it, you can't do it. Why are you kicking people? Patting the footprints on his butt, Han Cheng complained. How about we practice? Ling Zan smiled, and red arcs flickered at the corners of his eyes. The moment he saw Kai Lei, the hairs all over his body stood on end. Forget righteousness when you see, Han Cheng muttered. Ling Zan rolled his eyes at him, and said, hurry up and go home, your sister is still waiting for you. Nu, however, I want to remind you that your body is important, and even Li Bai will be ground into a needle one day, so you should exercise some restraint. Quote dot 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 quote. Ling Zan, if you don't leave me, I'll call you until you lose control. Han Cheng, let's go, let's go now. Goodbye, Mr. Han Cheng. Bye, Brother Xiao Han. Seeing Han Cheng who was about to leave, Aisha bowed and Xiao Chong waved. Goodbye, two angels. Han Cheng wiped his tears and waved goodbye, then disappeared under the streetlight with a lonely back. Shaking his head, Ling Zan returned to the front of several people. Let's go. What were you talking about just now? You look very happy. Alicia asked curiously. He asked me which hospital is better for bone setting. Bone bonding. Where is he broken? Kiana scratched her head. I don't know, maybe it's to prepare for a rainy day. Ling Zan shrugged, expressing that he didn't know either. Is this the secret among boys? Alicia thought. Akiu, have a cold. Go back and get some boiling water to drink. After wiping his nose, Han Cheng continued on his journey home. The next few people continued to go shopping. Although I bought a lot of clothes, at first glance, I found that they were basically Aisha and Xiaochong's. Alicia and the others only bought one or two pieces. Ling Zan couldn't help sighing. Xiaochong and Aisha are being treated as fitting dolls. But what surprised him was that these bills were all paid by Alicia. Dot dot dot. The bright moon hangs high in the sky. When I got home, it was already past 10 o'clock. See you tomorrow, Xiao Chong. Alicia waved goodbye to Xiao Chong, her flawless smile was as beautiful as a flower. Sister Eile, come play again tomorrow. Xiao Chong said happily. Is it possible? Alicia asked impatiently, her eyes lit up. You can come anytime you want. Ling Zan said, he he, thank you. Saying that, Alicia set her eyes on Aisha. Ah, idiot Kiana, you actually went to eat delicious food without telling me today. Here, as soon as Kiana opened the door, Ellie the fairy rushed up. He hugged Kiana's head. Ah, idiot fairy Ellie, let go, I can't see. Don't let go, I'm going to suffocate you. Okay, okay, why are you acting like a child? Hameko hugged Ellie the fairy who was hugging Kiana's face like a face hugger. Ha, huh, it really does look alike. GZ looked at Ellie, the fairy who had a similar image to Alicia, and said in surprise. Like what? Ellie the fairy was still angry, and spoke in a rushing tone. Why is the little man talking to me? GZ smiled sullenly, and slapped Ellie the fairy on the head. Large pink buns protrude from their heads. Ah, it hurts, it hurts. The belated fairy Ellie fluttered her little cloud-like wings, covered her head and kept scurrying in midair. On the contrary, he was quite honest. So you're saying that there's a guy who looks like me living next door? Sitting in Kiana's arms, Ellie asked, the fairy who was touching the red envelope on her head. Yes, but it's just as simple as you are. Kiana smiled and squeezed Ellie's face. HMPH, just take it as if you're saying I'm naive. Ellie the fairy slapped Kiana's hand off, and said arrogantly. This shameless feeling is quite similar. Branya said. Slightly. Fairy Ellie stuck her tongue out at Branya. Then why didn't you tell me sooner? We only discovered it today. May said softly as she patted Ellie's head. All right. Hearing what May said, Fairy Ellie lost her temper. 
who made the family treat her the most gentle and best as may, and the food is also delicious. Then let's ask Ling Zan first tomorrow, and then go to Alicia. Branya said. No problem. Both May and Kiana have no doubts. I'm going to sleep first. Jeezy stood up and said. Aren't you going to take a shower? Let's wash it tomorrow morning, I'm sleepy. Saying that, Jeezy stretched. Oh, by the way, Kiana, Teresa may be coming in a few days. Before returning to the room, Jeezy seemed to think of something and spoke to Kiana. Auntie is coming. Kiana had a smile on her face. Great, the travel expenses for the summer vacation have been settled. May, Branya, the two looked at each other and both sighed. Golden Court, that is where Alicia lives. In the room on the second floor, Alicia, who was wearing pink pajamas after taking a shower, was sitting on the bed with her legs crossed and making a video call on the computer. Eden, Aponia, when are you coming? It's very lonely for a beautiful girl to stay alone in an empty room at night. With her cheeks on her knees and her pink hair slipping down, Alicia asked. Sorry, Ellie, there is still something to be done at the concert. In the video, a woman with wine-red hair said in a gentle and steady voice. Hey, Alicia sighed. What about you, Aponia? I also need a little time here. Recently, suspicious people have been staying near the orphanage. We must try our best to ensure the safety of the children. Compared with the steady voice just now, this voice was a little more ethereal. Okay, okay, who made you my best friends? Alicia said helplessly. What's a girl's night without a pillow fight? At the same time, Ling Xuan's house. After washing Xiao Chong's tender little feet and sending her back to the room to cover her with a quilt, Ling Zan washed up and went back to the room. Close your eyes, and your consciousness enters the group chat. As soon as he entered the group, Ling Zan found that the group chat was live broadcasting. In the live broadcast, there are Emperor Yan in Shira armor and Ran Bing, who has been transformed into a law. With a wave of Ran Bing's big hand, he controlled the sky full of ice blades to fall like a torrential rain. Emperor Yan holds the Shira Purgatory halberd, chops out purple air waves, and forcibly opens a path. Zhong Li, Zhongzi, Herbivorous Dragon and others were sitting at the side watching the battle while cow tolling seeds. It is worth mentioning that melon seeds are grown from seeds. Being inside Zhong Li's jade barrier shield is the key to everyone's peace of mind. You guys are quite relaxed. Ling Zan entered the fantasy forbidden area, looked at several people and said. The group leader is great. Zhang Zi and the herbivorous dragon were surprised. Ling Zan. Zhang Li smiled and nodded. How long have they been fighting? Ling Zan, who made a chair and sat down, looked at the two people who were fighting in full swing and asked. We've been fighting for more than 10 minutes, but Ran Bing has been controlling the commanding heights, so Emperor Yan didn't take advantage of it. Mebus said. Group leader, do you want melon seeds? Zhongzi handed over a bag of melon seeds. No, I brushed my teeth. Ling Zan shook his head. All right, regarding this, Zhongzi handed it to Suikun beside him. Do you want to eat? Suikun, after looking at his own hoof, and then at his son, Suikun rolled his eyes. Zhongzi chuckled and took the melon seeds back. As long as there is a mount, it won't be so aggrieved. Ling Zan looked at the Shira armor that wanted to fly but couldn't, and shook his head. Mount, as soon as these words came out, everyone looked at Suikun. Suikun was silent for a while, and asked, what are you looking at me for? It's okay no problem. Everyone laughed and shook their heads. Suikun, for a moment, it felt the strong malice from the world. Mavis, how is life with Jeff? Ling Zan looked curiously at Mavis who was beside him. Well, very good, but he can't get close to anyone except me. Mebus said. Group leader, can I let Jeff also? Halfway through the speech, Mebus reacted, and quickly said, I overstepped. It's okay. Ling Zan shook his head. After speaking, continue to watch the battle. Zhongzi looked at Mebus unbearably, and she also knew about the other party's affairs during this time. They are all miserable people. It's a pity that she doesn't have the ability to help the other party. Zhang Li was silent. He collected a lot of things during this time. His Excellency Guyan's demon gods are also very competitive origin points, and now he is only a little bit close to restoring Ruo Tuo's consciousness. Quote dot 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 quote. Soon, the battle was over. Ran Bing fell short, 
and was shot down by Emperor Yan with a thunderbolt at a critical moment. Fortunately, there will be no real casualties in the battle between group members in the Fantasy Forbidden Area. Although he won, Emperor Yan seemed dissatisfied. The enemy standing on the ground and fighting in the air was too uncomfortable. Group leader, are you here too? Emperor Yan looked at Ling Zan in surprise. Since the armor was wiped out by Ling Zan with a single shot, Emperor Yan's attitude towards Ling Zan has undergone a 180 degree change. Just as he said, only the strong can make him obey. Give me the Asura Summoner. Ling Zan said bluntly. Ha, huh, oh, Emperor Yan took it out obediently. It's hard to imagine that Emperor Yan, who was going crazy to death just now, would be so obedient. Ling Zan who got the summoner narrowed his eyes. In the void, a program was programmed into the summoner. Okay, after summoning the armor, press and hold the button in the middle to see. With that said, Ling Zan returned the summoner to Emperor Yan again. Good, Emperor Yan did not suspect him. Asura armor, fit together. After the armor fits, press and hold the home button. Next second, a pair of dark golden turbo propellers appeared behind Shira's armor. This, this is, feeling the propeller behind him, Emperor Yan was stunned. As the energy is channeled, the turbines in the propellers begin to spin. With the storm, the Shira armor actually flew into the sky. It looks pretty good. Looking at the flying Shira armor, Ling Zan murmured. He simplified this technique by referring to the Phoenix Meteor, and the appearance uses the thrusters of the space-time rose in the black armor, which seems to match the Shira armor quite well. Ling Zan took out his computer and started recording data. Unexpectedly, the people around him looked at him in bewilderment. Metaphysics and technology, both are not let go. Group Lord, this is too great. After flying for a while, Emperor Yan landed with excitement on his face. At this moment, he was smiling like a fat boy weighing 200 pounds. After having wings, it is like adding wings to a tiger for him. Um, Ling Zan nodded, but I didn't give it to you for nothing, have you gone to Xingfu City? Went, I want the fire type light and shadow stone, you can figure it out. Ling Zan said. Don't worry, I will definitely help the group leader get it for you. Emperor Yan said confidently. The next day, ding. Remind the host that today's check-in has started, is the host going to check in? Sign in, ding, sign in successfully, congratulations to the host for getting the 10th expansion. Following the fate of the encounter, there is an expansion of the 10th company. The system, you are really going farther and farther on the road of drawing cards. Ling Zan couldn't help teasing. Ding, isn't life like this, it's full of unknowns. That's right. Ling Zan smiled and started the lucky draw. Next second, a familiar picture emerged, it was a supply box engraved with a blue homu. Following Ling Zan's constant jogging, there are only purple and blue in the whole process, not even a gold. In the end, 10 items emerged. The first among them is a character card of Fuwa A level Xuan Yu. It's so uncomfortable, it's actually a tablet. Looking at the character card in front of him, Ling Zan felt his liver ache. Unfortunately, there is no regret medicine in the world. Ling Zan directly put Fu Hua's character card on his chest with tears in his eyes. At this moment, he clearly felt the hardness of the card. In the next second, another Zunyu was added to the character column of his attribute panel. The use of Wajin also comes to mind. From today onwards, he has truly learned what Kun Shin Fist is. After merging the template, Zan took a deep breath and punched out a set of Kun Shin Fist. Like a mad dragon, although there are few moves, they are fatal, as if everyone can be controlled by one move in front of him. Call, Ling Zan took a deep breath. Qi sinks to the Dantian. The spiritual energy overflowing around him also became silent again. That's right, Kun Shin Fist has inspired my heart accumulation, now I only need to rely on Ruishui's power, I can break through the water-stopping realm and reach Wuchen. Ling Zan said with satisfaction. It's time to find someone to practice with. It had been a long time since he had discussed with anyone, and an emotion called Itchy Hands emerged from the bottom of his heart. Mr. Ling Zan, when are we going to Miss Ran Bing's? Aisha asked while eating. Ran Bing asked her again today, and wanted to thank Ling Zan for saving Mark. Ran Bing, Ling Zan suddenly remembered that there was indeed such a thing. It's not a coincidence. 
The corner of Ling Zan's mouth raised, just as he was about to find someone to practice boxing, the best candidate here appeared. Mr. Ling Zan, seeing that the former did not speak for a long time, Aisha asked again. Ling Zan came back to his senses and said, you told her that we would go there at noon. Okay. After Aisha answered, she started to contact Ran Bing. She is also looking forward to being able to travel to other worlds. Dot dot dot. Ding dong. Not long after breakfast, Ling Zan, who was watching the news, heard the doorbell. Xiao Chong, who was playing Lego with Ruishui, trotted to open the door. Looking at the figure in front of her, she immediately called out sweetly, Sister Mei. Xiao Chong. Mei also stroked Xiao Chong's head very gently. And us. Kiana and Branya leaned out from behind Mei. Sister Kiana, Sister Branya. Xiao Chong was even happier. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Ling Zan, who was sitting on the sofa, looked at the few people who walked in, and said. You knew we were coming. The matter of Alicia must have troubled you for a while. Ling Zan laughed. After sitting down, Branya said, We are just curious about the connection between the Goblin Alley and Alicia. Actually, it's pretty much what you've guessed. Ali the fairy was made after Alicia. Ling Zan didn't try to hide it. It's just that Alicia doesn't know about it. Kiana, could it be that Ling Zan, you are a voyeur? Branya, I think it's a stalker. Ahem, of course not. Listening to what Kiana and Branya said, Ling Zan almost choked to death. He took a hard look at Kiana who opened the head. Hey, I don't think it's possible either. Kiana shrank her neck and smiled foolishly. The fairy alley was actually given to me by a friend of mine. Before that, I never thought that there would really be Alicia in this world. Ling Zan said with emotion. I don't know too much about the connection between the two, but what is clear is that apart from their appearance, the two of them are completely different individuals. Ling Zan said after taking a sip of tea. Is that so? Branya dragged her chin and thought about it. I heard it. You are talking about me, right? At this time, a brisk voice sounded. The pink fairy lady makes her debut. Alicia, why are you here? Isn't the door open to welcome me? Alicia asked confused. Ling Zan, I also heard what you said just now, Fairy Ellie, um, what a nice name, can I meet you? She gently attached herself to Ling Zan's side, and her conversation was like beating notes. Bearing the name of Ellie, she must be a beautiful girl blooming like a flower like me. Kiana and Mei looked at each other, and finally Kiana went home and brought Fairy Ellie over. Wow, she really is a girl who is as beautiful and lovely as flying flowers like me. Alicia was captured the moment she saw Ellie the fairy. Normally, when a person sees another self who looks exactly the same, it will be somewhat embarrassing. But this was not reflected in Alicia at all. Are you Alicia? Sure enough. You have the same cute appearance as this elf. Yes, I approve of you. Fairy Ellie looked at Alicia, whose appearance was not much different from her own, and nodded. Well, so I am so cute in the eyes of others. I have always wanted a younger sister. Alicia laughed while hugging Fairy Ellie. Hey, Ellie the fairy is mine, don't even try to take it away. After snatching Ellie the fairy from Alicia's arms, Kiana said defensively. Oh. Since that's the case, can I ask Miss Kiana to fulfill my little request? Alicia held Kiana's hand and pressed her whole body against it. You, what are you doing? Looking at Alicia who was close at hand, Kiana's face turned red visible to the naked eye. Don't be shy, it's not a bad thing for friends to get to know each other better. Alicia teased with a charming tone. Cough. Ling Zan coughed lightly. What's the matter, Ling Zan, do you have a cold? Alicia asked. Let you restrain yourself a little bit, this is not your home. Ling Zan said with a blank look at Alicia. So I'm jealous, hee hee, I don't dislike boys who are not frank. Alicia smiled and let go of Kiana. I don't know if this jealousy belongs to Alicia or Ling Zan. Stupid goblin, stay away from her in the future. Kiana had already put a dangerous expression on Alicia. Looks like it's a woman, so she'll post it. It's too much, I'm going to cry. Don't cry, don't cry, lovely human being, I am willing to be your friend. Fairy Ellie said hastily. Then call out elder sister Alicia and listen. Alicia suddenly turned from cloudy to sunny, looked at Ellie the fairy and smiled. Sister Alicia, Fairy Ellie did the opposite. 
However, Alicia's smile became brighter and brighter. Ling Zong, underscore, quote dot 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 quote. As time passed, it was noon in the blink of an eye. Ling Zong felt that the time was almost up, so he told Kiana and others that they were leaving. Kiana and the others left without thinking too much. After everyone left, Ling Zong contacted Ran Bing and opened the space channel. Let's go. With that said, Ling Zong walked in first. Aisha clenched the cherry cross on her chest and followed nervously. Xiao Chong also grabbed Ling Zan's clothes. She was just an ordinary little girl in degeneracy. Dot dot dot. The moment the three of them stepped out of the space passage, they had already arrived in a black fortress. Master Ling Zan, Ran Bing and the others had been waiting for a long time, and Mark, who was awake, was naturally included. Sister Ran Bing, Xiao Chong, who saw an acquaintance, also lost the nervousness at first, and greeted him lively. Aisha, Miss Ran Bing, Sister Xiao Chong and Sister Aisha. Ran Bing hugged Xiao Chong into his arms and smiled at Aisha. The rest of the hunter team looked at each other in blank dismay. Are you getting used to it? Ling Zan asked. Very well, all this is thanks to Master Ling Zan. Ran Bing said gratefully. My lord, this is Mark. Ran Bing turned sideways and looked at a young and strong man. It seems to be recovering well. Ling Zan nodded. Mr. Ling Zan, thank you for giving me a second life. Mark came over and said gratefully. It's okay, I also have my own purpose. Ling Zan said. Ran Bing's talent is very high, and he doesn't want to break up this pair of CPs. Sir, we have prepared meals, please follow me. Mark was very respectful. Ling Zan not only saved his life, but also saved Ran Bing and other hunters, and even gave them the strength to survive on the ground. No matter what it is, they will never forget it. Led by Mark and Ran Bing, the three came to a hall. There is a huge dining table in the center of the hall, on which there are sumptuous dishes. That's, icing slime. Ling Zan saw the pudding-like blue food on the table at a glance, and said strangely. Because of Mana's ecology, there is almost nothing edible on the ground. I exchanged these points with Master Zhang Li and Miss Zhanzi. Ran Bing said with a slightly red face. It's okay, I've already tasted Liu's dishes. Ling Zan expressed his understanding. The icing slimes are all out. At first glance, it is the craftsmanship of Xiong Ling from Manmintang. Presumably, no one in Tivat except her should think about using slime as a dish. And he is also looking forward to the craftsmanship of Wanmintang, after all, it is a place that even Mr. Zhang recommends. Ling Zan was not polite, and sat down with Aisha and Xiaochong. Mark and the others looked at each other with joy in their eyes. It seems that this, God, doesn't care too much about these common etiquettes. During the meal time, all the hunters kept toasting Ling Zan in order to express their gratitude. In this regard, as a minor, he can only pay back to everyone with drinks instead of wine. I have to say that Xiong Ling's craftsmanship is really good. Even Aisha was full of praise, and even asked Zhang Li if he could go there to study for a while. Zhang Li naturally readily agreed. Dot dot dot. After lunch. Because Xiao Chong was very curious about this world, she yelled and asked Ling Zan to take her out for a stroll. Although Ling Zan had no interest in this wasteland world, Xiao Chong couldn't help but like it. Children are like this, they are curious about everything. He also couldn't interrupt Xiao Chong's enthusiasm and desire to explore. Sir, why don't we go together? There are many polar devouring beasts outside, and I can protect your safety. Hearing that the three of them were going out, Mark immediately said. No need, you just stay in the fortress, we'll be fine. Ling Zan shook his head and refused. Then, under the watchful eyes of Mark and the others, Ling Zan temporarily left the fort with Aisha and Xiao Chong. However, if you don't look, you don't know. When they came out, the two were stunned. Where is the beautiful scenery I imagined here? At a glance, the yellow sand is flying, and the whole world is almost in the wind and sand. It's so desolate, Aisha couldn't bear it. What has happened to make it so desolate? Brother, what is that? At this time, Xiao Chong noticed the iron castle standing out in the yellow sand. Ling Zan took a look and said, Oh, it's just an underground military base. A military base. Xiao Chong's pupils lit up, and then seemed to think of something, and took Ling Zan's hand excitedly, Brother, let's go there to explore. Adventure. 
That's fine. Ling Zong thought for a while and said. When I came to this world last time, I was in a hurry, and I really didn't have time to enter some places. Quote dot quote. The moment everyone entered the underground base. On the hillside not far away, a silver figure emerged from the wind and sand. Her pretty eyes glanced lightly. After the wind and sand blow, the figure has disappeared. Bai Yuekui, sensing the movement, Ling Zong glanced back. Brother, what's the matter? Xiao Chong, who noticed Ling Zong's expression, asked. It's okay, but Xiao Chong, are you really ready? It's scary inside, Ling Zong said, stroking Xiao Chong's head. With my brother around, I don't have anything. Afraid, after saying this, Xiao Chong was scared. In the dark corridor, Xiao Chong tightly grabbed the corner of Ling Zong's clothes, shivering as he watched the countless scorched flesh in the corridor. These flesh and soil have different faces, covering almost everyone's expression at the moment before despair. Feeling Xiao Chong's fear, Ling Zong hugged her into his arms and let Xiao Chong sit on his arm. Caressing Xiao Chong's head, said softly, Don't be afraid, just treat them as stone statues. Um, Xiao Chong nodded heavily but his lips were still a little pale. Mr. Ling Zan, what happened in this world? Aisha's situation is not much better than Xiao Chong's, and her already pale face is even paler now. Just treat it as a biological virus. It doesn't make sense to understand this kind of thing, Ling Zan said. Elsa is silent. Yeah, she doesn't have any ability to change anything except praying. Quote dot quote. There was a sudden silence. The corridor of this underground base gave Xiao Chong and Aisha a very long feeling. Walking inside is extremely depressing, and even feels suffocating after staying for a long time. It's more exciting than a haunted house. After walking for a while, sparse voices suddenly sounded from the surroundings. Added a hint of terror to the already dark corridor. Elder brother. Startled, Xiao Chong buried her head in Ling Zan's arms. Patting Xiao Chong on the back. Ling Zan opened his insightful eyes and looked around. Behind the vines and the fleshy soil, dozens of worms-like spines were clinging to the wall and crawling. Is it the spine? It must be the fear of Aisha and Xiao Chong that attracted them. With a soft snort, the magnetism scattered. In an instant, these spines crawling on the wall were electrocuted to powder. Brother, let's go back, I won't explore any more. At this time, Xiao Chong finally couldn't hold on any more. Don't continue to look, maybe there is a treasure inside. Looking at Xiao Chong who was about to cry in his arms, Ling Zan teased. Don't look at it, don't look at it, Xiao Chong just wants to go out now. Xiao Chong's head shook like a rattle. Little idiot, remember it. If you don't investigate clearly next time, you can't enter anywhere. Nodding Xiao Chong's head, Ling Zan taught. Yeah, listen to my brother. Xiao Chong's cold arms hugged Ling Zan's neck tightly. At this moment, the only way to make her feel safe. Aisha also took Ling Zan's hand, and the cold touch indicated that Aisha's heart was not at peace. However, Ling Zan did not choose to go back, but continued to move forward. About two minutes later, the three came to a large hall. There, a girl in a white plush coat was standing there, as if she had been waiting for a long time. The girl has calm eyes, fair skin, and snow-white silver hair. It's been a long time, boss Bai. Ling Zan who walked and looked at Bai Yuekui and smiled slightly. Bai Yuekui frowned. You know me. Just happened to know the name. Putting Xiao Chong on the ground, Xiao Chong trotted into Aisha's arms and looked at Bai Yuekui vigilantly. It seems that boss Bai has been looking for me for a long time. You are very strong, but I don't want you to meddle in Mark's affairs. Bai Yuekui said flatly. It doesn't matter to me what happens to Mark. Ling Zan smiled. On the contrary, as long as you get rid of Ran Bing, you can turn Mark into a polar devourer again. The second fall is far easier than the first. Bai Yuekui narrowed her eyes, for a moment she didn't quite understand what Ling Zan wanted to do. But compared to those, I'm more interested in you now, boss Bai. Ling Zan opened his eyes. A good sparring partner is right in front of you, there is no reason to let it go. Bai Yuekui frowned, and subconsciously clenched the Tang Dao at his waist. Don't say that I bully you, so you don't need the power of the Hersher. Flames ignited all over Ling Zan, and the Ruishui sword fell into his hand in an instant. 
Ruishui Jandu, which was originally azure blue, was covered with a layer of afterglow like the morning sun. Someone has to lighten the darkness a little before the dawn. The flame climbed up from Ling Zan's body and condensed into a flame bird, perched quietly beside Ling Zan. Is that a good sentence? As if he didn't hear Ling Zan's question, Bai Yuikui breathed out a cold breath. Slowly pulled out the sword at his waist. No matter who you are, I must take Mark away. Beat me, everything is easy to talk about. Ling Zan laughed. Bai Yuikui's pupils froze. Silver White Yuanli emerged from the arm, and instantly crossed over to Tang Daolaya's consciousness. Boom, lightly touched the ground with the tip of the toe, amidst the dust and the sound of breaking through the air, it transformed into a beautiful shadow of a silver moon and burst out. Ling Zan narrowed his eyes and swung the sword with one hand. The fiery red elemental force adhered, and ripples appeared in the void. Facing by Yuikui's sword, Ling Zan did not retreat but advanced. He responded with a three-foot-long sword in his hand. Boom, the moment of crisp collision. Bai Yuikui's eyes moved. The blade tilted and quickly shook Ling Zan's blade away from the side. And she herself easily landed on the ground in front of Ling Zan. He looked at Ling Zan who was close at hand. Holding the sword in one hand, Bai Yuikui swung out a sword that sliced through the air. However the next second, boom, the sound of metal clashing. Immediately afterwards, she met a pair of red eyes. And her knife was firmly blocked. Ruishui's sword was placed horizontally in front of Ling Zan's chest. At the moment when it was shaken away, Ruishui's sword was readjusted by Ling Zan for defense. Bai Yuikui's pupils did not change at all. She had made certain preparations and intelligence long before coming here. If Ling Zan could solve it so easily, she wouldn't have come alone. If one hit is missed, the next hit begins. Her swordsmanship is not as fancy as in TV dramas, but extremely deadly. After being blocked, it will not stop with you for a moment, but will only attack from your next flaw. Boom, 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 in the void, sparks splashed everywhere. Holding the sword in one hand, Ling Zan blocked every move of Bai Yuikui. The three-foot-long sword was like an arm in Ling Zan's hand. On Ling Zan's body, not only the Chenghong swordsmanship, but also the Taishu swordsmanship. He also holds Ruishui's sword, set offense and defense in one. Although Bai Yuikui's attacks were swift and aimed directly at the vital points, they were all blocked. However, even defense is not easy. Bai Yuikui's speed is too fast, and every sword is a killer move, and there will even be many moves that seem to be fake moves but are actually killer moves. He can subconsciously block it with muscle memory, but it is extremely exhausting mentally. And the power is even more terrifying. Each hit easily slices through boulders. If the force hadn't been released in time, the ground below Ling Zan would probably collapse directly. The bloodline of the Kiana Kazlana family is like a younger sister in front of this terrifying strength. Ling Zan looked at Bai Yuikui's unwavering eyes, like a war machine, tireless. Brother, come on, Xiao Chong shouted. Hearing Xiao Chong's cheering sound, the corners of Ling Zan's mouth raised. But it was just right. This kind of attack that wants to die, but Xiao Ruishui can't give it. Fire dancing everywhere, take a light drink, boom. Fire explosion, the fire element spread around the sky, violently shaking Bai Yuikui away. Putting down the arm covering his eyes, Bai Yuikui's eyes froze. She saw four swords flying out of the fire curtain, coming from four directions together. The pretty brows frowned slightly, leaping back, while opening the distance, he swung a Yuanli slash. Boom, mixed with flames and Yuanli, they exploded in all directions. As expected of Boss Bai, this is the second time I've sweated. Ling Zan tugged at his collar and said. The first time was with Zhang Li. Looking at it now, Mr. Zhang must have been merciful back then. Sure enough, serious sparring and forced sparring are two completely different situations. Quote dot quote. Bai Yuikui was silent for a while, and said, Mark is the hope of mankind. As human beings, we have absolutely no reason to kill each other. Obviously, she took a fancy to Ling Zan's strength. She is well aware of the fighting power of humans on the ground. It's okay to deal with some small beasts, but if you really encounter a king-level monster, you can only run away obediently. Her body is deteriorating, human beings want to be strong. Boss Bai, I think you misunderstood something. 
Ling Zan sighed. Me, I'm no longer human. Ling Zan opened his eyes, put his index finger and middle finger together, and swiped towards the void. Three feet of water can cut through clouds. Buzz buzz. Ruishui's sword stagnated in front of Ling Zan, vibrating wildly, and the flaming dragon wrapped around the blade. The originally ice-blue Ruishui sword also turned orange-red under the influence of the flames. Eat my hundred-step flying sword. Ling Zan let out a soft drink, and swung his fingers fiercely at Bai Yuekui. Roar! The fire dragon that received the decree opened its huge mouth, and the dragon chant sounded. Next second, the fire dragon bit the Ruishui sword fiercely, and shot it out with endless flames. Bai Yuekui's pupils shrank. The energy of the whole body is condensed, all gathered on the Tang Dao. Facing the front, he swung heavily. Drink. Boom. A huge explosion echoed throughout the base. Hum. The long sword sliced through the void, sliced through the smoke, and pointed directly at Bai Yuekui's snow-white throat. That's too late. Single quote. Bai Yuekui's pupils shrank slightly. She wanted to strike, but Ruishujian was too fast and couldn't stop it at all. You lose. However, just when the Ruishui sword was about to pierce her throat, a flat voice sounded. Ling Zan appeared in front of her at some point, holding the long sword. Quote dot 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 quote. Looking at Ruishujian in front of him, Bai Yuekui's pupils were a little dull. She almost died just now. You won't kill me. After calming down, Bai Yuekui stared at Ling Zan with gray eyes. Trying to see something. I didn't intend to kill you. Putting Ruishui's sword down, Ling Zan hit Bai Yuekui on the head. Ah, it hurts. Bai Yuekui covered his head in pain. Eat it, let's continue. Ling Zan threw the spiritual energy pills purchased in the market to Bai Yuekui, said. I've already lost. After glancing at the spiritual chi pill, Bai Yuekui said stubbornly. Ling Zan shook his head. I said before, I never wanted to kill you, I just wanted a partner. Supporter. Bai Yuekui was taken aback. Then the corners of his mouth twitched. She almost died, but in the eyes of the other party, she was just a training partner. Okay, then I will practice with you today. Swallow the spiritual energy pill in one gulp. Next moment, Bai Yuekui felt a special energy overflowing her whole body. Ding. Congratulations to the host for turning on the favorability mode and detecting the relationship between Bai Yuekui and the host. The current favorability is 5%. Evaluation. Fragile friendship. The sound of the system suddenly sounded. The amount is really low. Ling Zan made a pun. A single sentence showed his speechlessness towards the system and Bai Yuekui. I'll give you a chance. If you beat me, this switch with thousands of games will be yours. Ling Zan took out another thing. She shook it in front of Bai Yuekui. Don't worry, whether it's you or something, I'll take it away with you. After recovering, Bai Yuekui looked at the corner of Ling Zan's mouth curled up. This is the smile that will only be shown when encountering a strong enemy. Very good. Ling Zan smiled knowingly. Aisha, Xiao Chong, step back a little, the second round is about to begin. Ruishujian started again. Brother, be careful. Xiao Chong shouted. I don't know how Mr. is doing outside. Mark stood on the wall of the fort, looked at the barren land outside, and sighed. Don't worry, my lord is very strong. Ran Bing came over and gently took Mark's strong arm. Sorry to bother you. Looking at Ran Bing in front of him, Mark showed apology. Under the narration of other wild hunters, he knew very well that it was not easy. For him, they even did not hesitate to break with the lighthouse. I am afraid that this kindness will never be repaid in this life. Fool, what are you talking about? Didn't you agree to live on the ground together? Ran Bing lightly scratched Mark's nose and smiled. Um, with a gentle expression, Mark gently hugged Ran Bing into his arms. Tisk tisk, it's true, little boss. If you don't talk about the rest of your life after the catastrophe, you can still embrace the beauty. The older generation of wilderness hunters clicked their tongues. Don't be sour, I know it, you guys have been to the Chengxi Hall a lot. The old teammates on the side joked. You, can that be the same? Mark and Ran Bing, who were standing on the city wall, smiled as they watched this scene. Such a life is really good. Boom, boom, the sound of swords colliding could be heard throughout the underground base. The bored Xiaochong hiccuped and started the live broadcast. 
In an instant, the group of friends all got in. The genius of the victory team. It's an even match with the leader of the group. This silver-haired girl is so strong. Morax. This girl's sword skills are so smooth. Emperor Yan. This is the battle. Ah, my blood boils. Suicune. Drink more hot water. Emperor Yan. Go to hell. Goblin military. Cough, pay attention to civilization, I don't care if I teach Xiao Chong badly. Emperor Yan. No, he stopped talking. Xiao Chong is the elder brother's younger sister, so she can't afford to provoke her. I couldn't see. So strong, so envious, when will I be so strong? Morax. Miss Johnzi, don't worry, as long as you practice the spear skills I gave you, with the eye of God, it is not a problem to have the power to protect yourself. The smile of the Holy Mother. At Mola KC, that, Mr. Zhang Li, I also want to become stronger. Morax. Oh, if Miss Aisha wants to become stronger, why don't you go to the group leader directly? Presumably he won't refuse. The virgin's smile. Will that bother him too much? Morax. The virgin's smile. Hey, that, I didn't mean that. Ling Zan. If Aisha wants to learn, I'll go back and teach you. Mr. Ling Zan. Aisha looked at Ling Zan who was fighting in surprise. You dare to be distracted while fighting with me. Bai Yuekui frowned. Fantastic. After taking the spiritual energy pill, she no longer felt pain, as if she had returned to her heyday. The knife came out like a thunder, and the speed was a little faster than before. How can it be? Ling Zan chuckled lightly. Dodge the opponent's slash. Morax. It's strange, the leader of the group has such a strong swordsmanship. Why didn't he use it at the beginning? It seems that he didn't practice it recently. Zhang Li who was watching the live broadcast of the battle, was quite surprised to see Ling Zan's flickering swordsmanship on the screen. Emperor Yan. I don't know, but I can't bear it anymore. Who would like to stand with me? Morax. It's not good to fight too much, I'd better drink tea. Goblin military advisor. I'm free, but are you willing to accept my goblin's three magic spells? Emperor Yan. The three goblin magics. Forget it, he doesn't like being a living target much. Ran Bing. Is it her? The group leader is actually fighting her. Seeing Bai Yuekui in the video, Ran Bing was shocked. Morax. Miss Ran Bing knows you. Ran Bing. Actually, I don't know too well, I only saw it in the report. Morax. It seems that we have to ask the group leader for details. The battle continues. At this moment, it has changed from hand to hand combat to hand to hand combat. Wajin Moju. Boom, boom. The thick fists clashed against each other, and every punch had a burst of air. It's just that after hundreds of punches, they didn't cause any real damage to the opponent. Xiao Chong's eyes were covered by Aisha, it's too early for children to see this. Thousand dragons break the sky. Ling Zan let out a soft drink. A punch full of flames blasted out. Drink. Boss Bai also concentrated his energy in one punch. Boom. The fists collided, and the entire underground base was crumbling for a while. Okay, let's call it a day. Ling Zan put away his fists, looked at Bai Yuekui who also recovered, and said. Quote dot quote. Bai Yuekui didn't reply, but looked at him quietly. How about a draw? Ling Zan took out the switch and threw it to Bai Yuekui. Bai Yuekui was startled and immediately took it. That's about Mark. Ling Zan. His affairs are not within the scope of my jurisdiction. Her target is Mark. Ran Bing's pupils shrank when watching from the live broadcast. The originally ice blue pupils were solidified, as if ice crystals had condensed. The cold air all over his body spread involuntarily with his emotions, coating the original walls with a layer of frost. No matter who it is, it can't be against Mark. As if to announce, Ran Bing said indifferently. It was Mark who protected her before, now it's her who protects Mark. Do you still have that elixir? After a moment of silence, Bai Yuekui asked. That's not okay. Ran Bing is my apostle no matter what, I can't help you deal with her. Ling Zan chuckled. Xiao Chong, Aisha, let's go. He stroked the void with one hand. The imaginary space opened up behind Ling Zan. Etc. Seeing the three people about to leave, she said. How? Your name? Ling Zan smiled slightly, Ling Zan. After speaking, the three of them entered the imaginary space and left. Inside the empty hall, 
Bai Yuikui stretched out his hand in the air, staring blankly at the place where the three of them left. Then he held hands, picked up the tang knife stuck on the ground, and inserted it into his waist. Left alone. Imaginary number space open. The three of them have returned to the fort. Brother, who was the elder sister just now? Xiao Chong, who was sitting on Ling Zan's arm, asked. A good sparring partner. Then brother, can you teach Xiao Chong to fight? Oh, my shoulder is so sore. Xiao Chong pinches for you. Then my cheeks are a bit dry. Ling Zan poked his cheek and said with a smile. Mua, without hesitation, Xiao Chong took a sip on Ling Zan's cheek. Aisha on the side couldn't help showing a smile. After the kiss, Xiao Chong looked at Ling Zan expectantly. That's fine, for the sake of being so obedient, I'll teach you when I get back. Facing Xiao Chong's expectant expression, Ling Zan rubbed her head. I don't know what you want to learn. It's the one who commanded the sword and swiped. Xiao Chong gestured with her small hands, extremely cute. Yu Jian, this is a matter of talent. Xiao Chong is not afraid of suffering. Then why does Xiao Chong suddenly want to learn? Is it to protect brother and sister Aisha? Ling Zan asked with some expectation. Because he's handsome, Xiao Chong said without hesitation. Ling Zan was taken aback. Although, it does seem to be the case. Chapter 71 Why practice? In addition to being strong, it is for the sake of being cool and domineering. In order to appear holy in front of people, to pretend to be X, and to live forever. Other than that, Ling Zan didn't have any other ideas. I didn't expect you to have such a feeling at such a young age. I'm so relieved. Ling Zan pinched Xiao Chong's cheek and said with emotion. He he, I think so too. A sweet smile appeared on Xiao Chong's face. Aisha smiled and said nothing. Master Ling Zan. With a cold voice, Ran Bing jumped down from the city wall and came to Ling Zan. I will not interfere with Bai Yuikui's affairs. Before the other party could speak, Ling Zan said first. She is a representative of human forces on the ground, you may be able to contact her. My lord, I want to know why she insists on Mark. Ran Bing asked after a moment of silence. Ling Zan glanced at her, and said, when a powerful pole devourer is bred, there will be something called a fishy vortex. Well, you should have seen it, a red vortex. Ran Bing nodded to show he knew. The passage in it can connect to Mana's ecological center. Only by entering there can we find a way to fight the ecology, but unfortunately, humans cannot enter at all. You mean, hearing Ling Zan's words, Ran Bing froze for a moment, then his pupils shrank slightly. I already guessed it in my heart. Immediately afterwards, Ling Zan confirmed her thoughts. Ling Zan nodded. That's right, Mark, who became the successor of the pole devourer and kept his consciousness, is the only hope for mankind. Or, this is the mission of his birth. Ran Bing was a little dazed. Could it be that Mark must be turned into a polar devourer if he wants to completely solve the mana ecology? Brother, what is the pole devourer? Xiao Chong, who was sitting on Ling Zan's shoulder, asked. Well, like monsters, animals that have absorbed aura and mutated. Ling Zan thought for a while, and used words that Xiao Chong could understand to make a comparison. Oh wow, oh. Xiao Chong nodded thoughtfully. Ran Bing. I said, are you thinking too much? Seeing Ran Bing's hesitant eyes, Ling Zan suddenly spoke. Ah, Ran Bing raised his head and looked at Ling Zan suspiciously. Aren't you struggling to save the world and protect Mark? Ling Zan asked. Ran Bing was taken aback. She really had this idea just now. Wake up, young girl, you have done your best to protect the person you like. Ling Zan stroked Xiao Chong's head. Don't forget, neither Mark nor your life is your own. Ran Bing was in a daze for a moment, and his ice blue pupils gradually became firm. I know what to do, thank you Master Ling Zan. Ling Zan smiled slightly. In the final analysis, the mere mana ecology is only limited to one world. No matter how strong it is, can it change the world level? Not to mention the core strength in your body, even Zhang Li's rock spear, no one in this world can catch it. Ling Zan waved his hand. Okay. It's almost time, we should go back. Aren't you going to stay for a while? Ran Bingwan asked. Come again next time. With that said, the space channel has been opened. Goodbye, Sister Ran Bing. Goodbye, Miss Ran Bing. Under Ran Bing's gaze, the three of them entered the space passage and left this world. However, 
The second after the three of them left, Ran Bing's expression changed. Just because there was an extra idea in her mind. Is it possible for them to use the power of group chat to live in other worlds? Xiao Chong went to bed. After returning home, Xiao Chong said something, took off his shoes and ran towards the second floor. Looks like I'm tired, Ling Zan said. The half-day tour of the spirit cage world is already very energy-consuming for Xiao Chong, a child. Mr. Ling Zan, Aisha's slightly hesitant voice sounded. Looking at Aisha, Ling Zan smiled slightly and held her catkin. Let's go. With that said, the two of them stepped into the fantasy forbidden area together. Time flies. During the two days, Ling Zan's house was rarely quiet. Alicia seemed to be very interested in Ellie the fairy, and kept running towards Kiana and the others. It is said that May is harassed by Alicia every day, and Kiana is furious. Ling Zan drank the tea gracefully. Zhang Li uploaded his experience of drinking tea in the group chat, and after downloading it, he also practiced the tea ceremony. This is how the self-cultivation of an expert is developed. His eyes moved, and he set his eyes on Aisha who was meditating aside. He had already used the awakening formation on Aisha, but unfortunately it didn't work. According to the system, it was because of the artifact. But that's fine, Aisha has a strong talent in Shinyan, and she has entered the water-stopping stage in just a few days. Maybe it's also because of the girls. I hope nothing will happen. Ling Zan cast his gaze towards Aisha's chest. Thoughts flashed in my heart. Then he closed his eyes, stroked his hands towards the void, and a yin and yang taiji diagram emerged above Ling Zan's head. There is mysterious light falling down, like a banished immortal. I don't know when I will comprehend the divine essence. After a while, Ling Zan opened his eyes. His heart at this moment is only in the dust-free environment, although it is not far from the mirror, but the last layer cannot be broken. Even if he has the Zunyu character card, he can only improve his perception, not help him break through. Let's go for a walk. Ling Zan murmured and sat up from the sofa. Ruishui, protect Aisha. Yes, master. Ruishui, who was meditating on top of Aisha, opened her eyes and said. After explaining, Ling Zan opened the door and went out. The street is as lively as usual. Has it been half a month before you know it? Ling Zan was slightly emotional. Suddenly feel so boring, is there nothing interesting for me to meet? Ding, what interesting thing does the host want? For example, a girl fell from the sky or something. Ling Zan joked. Quote dot quote, it seems that you are not good at the system either. Seeing that the system suddenly stopped talking, Ling Zan teased. Ding, please move the host here. In front of Ling Zan, a window suddenly opened. Inside is a map of the entire Jiangnan region, and there is a red dot on it. After watching for a while, Ling Zan said, This place, why bamboo forest? You can pick up girls by going to this place. Ling Zan asked with some uncertainty. Ding, it's possible, then I won't go. Ling Zan shook his hand and continued to walk forward. Ding, why is this? The system is a bit confusing. Brother, it's not that I don't want to, but that there are too many girls, we can't take care of them. Ling Zan said with a sigh. Single dogs don't know the harem is annoying. I see. The system thought about it. He has learned again. Seeing that the system was silent, Ling Zan didn't care, and continued walking aimlessly. Tired of looking at the scenery in the city, he walked towards the countryside. It was dusk when he could see the wheat field. Looking up, a piece of blue rice field came into view, it is not an exaggeration to say that it is a painting against the afterglow of the setting sun. Usually, when he is unhappy or in a bad mood, he likes to come here to relax and enjoy the scenery. It's a great place to retire. The scent of earth and flowers is soothing. Ling Zan strolled on the country road, humming a tune, admiring the surrounding scenery while walking. After walking for some time, he came to a big tree. The breeze blows, and the leaves rustle. Ling Zan sat down directly, leaning against the big tree, bowed his legs and quietly looked at the distant village, admiring the afterglow of the setting sun. This world looks quite beautiful. Ling Zan smiled slightly. As everyone knows, it is above 10,000 meters above the sky. A pitch black hole slowly opened, and red lightning flickered on the edge. Obviously, there is a serious disorder in time and space. Ding. Please host be careful of high-altitude parabolic objects. 
Um, with a slight snort, Ling Zan raised his head subconsciously. I saw a hole opened in the originally bright sky. The red arc acts on the surroundings of the hollow, and it seems that there is still the idea of expanding. Just when Ling Zan was wondering, a layer of lime suddenly fell on his face. He couldn't help but reach out and touch the dust on his face. Rumble. Immediately afterwards, there was a buzzing sound in the space, and countless stone pillar-like things fell from the hollow. Huge stone pillars were like nails, carrying sparks straight down from the sky. Ling Zan's heart skipped a beat. Accompanied by the rumbling thunder, without hesitation, he waved his hand. The red thunder light spread in the void. Under Ling Zan's control, these thunder lights converged into a huge grid and rushed towards the sky. The so-called stone pillars instantly collapsed under its touch. That is, when the stone pillar was crushed, a pink light suddenly lit up in the pitch black void. Ling Zan's pupils froze, he stepped on the ground, and rushed to the sky. Sting. Lightning lingers around the body, like the body protecting chi and cultivating immortals, but any stones that approach are broken down into atoms by the light and dispersed in the air. The pink light was getting closer and closer, Ling Zan grasped the void with one hand. Crash. Several golden oath chains broke through the void and shot out, entwining the pink figure. The imaginary number space opened, and the figure locked by the chains was teleported in front of him in an instant. However, when he saw the figure bound by chains, his pupils couldn't help shrinking. Ling Zan stared blankly at Qian Ying in his arms. Soft feathers cling to his arms. What was lying in his arms was not a human being, but an angel with pink wings. She closed her eyes tightly, lying quietly in Ling Zan's arms like a sleeping beauty. Gao Jia's figure is incompatible with this modeled world. Icarus, Ling Zan called out her name in disbelief. The sleeping girl wakes up a distant memory, it was a chilling summer. Rumble, the sky was buzzing, Ling Zan raised his head and found that the hole that had been opened started to heal slowly, and finally disappeared. The shattered sky was back to normal. If the figure in his arms and the stone pillars fell from the ground, Ling Zan might think it was just a dream. What happened? Earthquake. Impossible. This is a plane. Could it be that a monster broke through the line of defense? Quote dot 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 quote. In the village not far away, many people panicked due to the vibration caused by the falling stone pillar. Glancing at the sleeping girl in his arms, Ling Zan's eyes flashed. The imaginary space opened up behind him, taking Icarus out of here. After Glow Forest, the space of imaginary numbers opens quietly. Ling Zan came out with Icarus in his arms, and gently put him under a big tree. System, give me an explanation. Ling Zan immediately locked his suspicion on the system. Not long ago, he joked that a girl from heaven would come, but now she really came, and he couldn't believe it was a coincidence. Ding, this system thought over and over again, and felt that the reason why the host did not dare to go to the place selected by this system before is that every girl has her own consciousness and there will be uncontrollable results like Shira Field. The system did not explain, but said what it thought and thought. Quote dot 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 quote. Ling Zan subconsciously glanced at the sleeping Icarus and raised his brows, so you chose Icarus who has no self-feeling. Ding, yes, a little meaning in the words. After his painstaking research, Icarus was found to be the most suitable. Not only perfectly resolved Ling Zan's concerns in the Shira field, but also helped Ling Zan fulfill the long-cherished wish of the girl from heaven. The strength is online, and life skills such as cooking are full. Apart from being in a daze without orders, she has no shortcomings at all, she is simply everyone's ideal girlfriend. After receiving the answer, Ling Zan was stunned for a moment, then fell into deep thought. In the end, he showed a cheap and obedient expression. System, you guy, I really love you so much. Ding, this system accepts the praise. Ling Zan squatted down, looked at the sleeping girl, and stretched out his hand to gently touch Icarus' cool cheek. When he really touched it, his heart still couldn't help trembling. Icarus can be said to be his first love for him. Ling Zan suddenly thought of something, and said, By the way, if I go to Waiju Forest, I will also meet Icarus. Ding, no, who is that? Ling Zan asked suspiciously. Ding, is there a possibility, on the seventh day of July, the bamboo pavilion on the Waishui River? Ling Zan's eyes stirred up waves. You mean that Dongfang Waiju has also come to this world? Ding, no, 
the host has unsubscribed midway, so the system will not transmit. Ling Zong. He was dumbfounded. Can this be unsubscribed? System, tell me honestly, how much ability do you still have hidden? Host, this life is like opening a blind box, full of surprises as the charm. Oh, Ling Zon lacked interest, so he didn't want to say anything. Then he turned his attention to Icarus. Where should I start? Looking at Icarus' proud figure, Ling Zon murmured. It seems that every place wants to start. Open your eyes of insight. Name, Icarus. Type, Strategic Universal Angel. Remarks, Only the prince's kiss can wake up the sleeping princess. Closing square bracket. Ling Zon, What does the note in the last column mean? System. Ding. Literally. Ling Zon's complexion changed, he looked at Icarus's alluring lips, and couldn't help but admire, System, you are so good at it. The host is absurd. Pursing his lips, Ling Zon felt a little dry mouth for a while. Holding Icarus' white arm with one hand, he bent down gently. The moment Ling Zon kissed, Icarus' long eyelashes moved. Immediately afterwards, Icarus slowly opened her emerald green eyes. Looking at Ling Zon and this strange world curiously. Good morning, Ling Zon greeted with a smile. Engrave, start. A flat voice came from Icarus' mouth. Knowing the follow up, Ling Zon took the initiative to extend his hand. I saw that the broken chain of the collar on Icarus' throat regenerated like quantum fragments and finally wound around his hand. Feel the cool touch of the chains in your hands. Icarus's delicate and soft voice sounded. Nice to meet you, I am the entertainment type Universal Angel Alpha Icarus, and I will fulfill all your wishes, my master. Looking at Icarus, who was still more dazed than Ganyu, Ling Zon couldn't help but stir up waves in his heart. He couldn't help reaching out and putting his hand on Icarus' head, stroking her head gently. Nice meeting, Archer. The voice was very soft, as if afraid of disturbing the kitten Icarus. With Ling Zon's support, Icarus stood up. At the moment, she was still wearing a battle suit. Although many hollows were designed to suit the battle, it was still unrefined to go out like this, and this kind of clothes could only be shown to him in a non-combat form. Thinking about it, Ling Zon couldn't help poking Icarus' belly button. Soft and cool, Ling Zon couldn't help moaning for a while. Feeling the strangeness coming from his abdomen, Icarus looked at Ling Zon suspiciously. Cough, it's okay, Ling Zon, who was stared at by Icarus, coughed in embarrassment and withdrew his hand. Take out a photo from the system space and say, you can change your clothes according to the clothes above. Yes, master, Icarus replied respectfully and changed his clothes in front of Ling Zon. Ling Zon, dish, under Ling Zon's sluggish gaze, the battle suit on Icarus turned into particles and gradually dissipated into the air, revealing a figure as smooth as jade. In front of Ling Zon, she was not at all defensive. Immediately afterwards, these particles re-interwebbed in the void to form new clothes. When the light dissipated, Icarus came into view wearing a tank top and denim shorts. The pure and lovely face makes people can't help holding it up and taking a sip. Icarus, take your wings back. Noticing the huge wings behind Icarus, Ling Zon said. When Icarus heard this, the wings on his back moved slightly, and the huge wings slowly shrunk. Ling Zon put a newly constructed coat on Icarus' shoulders. It looks much better this way. Touching Icarus' head and holding Icarus' little hand, Ling Zon showed a smile on his face. Let's go. Turning his eyes slightly, Icarus let Ling Zon lead him towards Kanglin City. Quote dot 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 quote. By the time we got home, the sky had completely darkened. Aisha, Xiao Chong, I'm back. Opening the door, Ling Zon shouted into the room. However, the familiar figure did not rush over. Mr. Ling Zon, come back. Aisha who heard the voice came over, but stopped when she saw Icarus behind Ling Zon. Oh, Aisha, are you here, where is Xiao Chong? Ling Zon asked Icarus as he walked in. Xiao Chong went to Alicia, who is this? Aisha said, looking at Icarus puzzled. She is Icarus, Ling Zon said. Icarus, the one in Greek mythology. Aisha was surprised when she heard Ling Zon's words. As a nun of the church, understanding the history of the gods is a compulsory course, and it just so happens that the gods are not uncommon in this world. Yes, Ling Zon nodded, but isn't Icarus in mythology male? Aisha looked at Icarus in a daze. And the one in front of her was clearly a lovely girl. 
She is a little different from the Icarus you know. Ling Zong glanced at Icarus and said. Besides, myths always need a bit of deception and mystery. For example, the god you believe in is a woman. Why, after hearing that god is female, Elsa froze. Although she has never seen god, according to the portraits of those angels, god is obviously a male. Mr. Ling Zong, how do you know? Aisha asked curiously. This is a secret, but I can assure you that this god is definitely a girl, and I will take you to meet her when I have a chance in the future. Ling Zong rubbed Aisha's head and said. See god. Aisha's brain is a little out of order. What's wrong? Seeing that Aisha didn't speak, Ling Zong waved her hand in front of her. No. It's okay, I'm just too surprised. Aisha said with a blushing face when she recovered. It's embarrassing in front of Mr. Ling Zong, but the impact of these words on her is too great. Ling Zong just smiled, and took Icarus and Aisha to sit on the sofa to start the next topic. Okay, let's talk about Icarus. Aisha was taken aback for a moment, and then showed a serious expression. Quote dot 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 quote. In the following time, Ling Zong told Aisha about what happened this afternoon. Time and space are disordered, and Icarus descended from the sky. Then there is the origin of Icarus. Except for the system, Ling Zong did not hide anything from Aisha. An artificial angel. After hearing that Icarus is a strategic artificial angel from another world, Aisha was a little confused. Yes, Icarus has extremely high combat power and computing power, but the emotional part is relatively weak, so he looks stupid. As he spoke, Ling Zong pinched Icarus' fleshy cheek. However, even with his face deformed, Icarus remained speechless. So that's how it is. Aisha was stunned, no wonder she felt that Icarus had lost his soul. Icarus has signed a contract with me, so she will be my family from now on, and she will live with us, Ling Zon said. Elsa nods. For some reason, after hearing that Icarus was an artificial angel, I felt relieved. The feeling of a little depression disappeared in an instant. Aisha walked up to Icarus, bent down, and whispered to Icarus, Hello Icarus, I'm Aisha. Hello, Icarus replied blankly, his tone soft and weak. Icarus, do you have anything you like? Aisha asked, hoping to learn more about Icarus. Master, Icarus looked at Ling Zon. Ling Zon took a sip of tea calmly. Aisha, Icarus has just been activated, like a blank sheet of paper, please take her with you during this time. Elsa, ha, huh, can I, you are the hostess of this family now, do you think it's okay? Ling Zon teased. Female, hostess or something. I, I will work hard. Just a simple sentence and Aisha fell. Clench your fists and cheer yourself up. Icarus tilted his head and looked at Aisha with a puzzled expression. Icarus, Aisha's words will be the same as mine in the future, you know. Yes, master. Dot dot dot. I'm back. When approaching 1830, Xiao Chong's voice came from the door. With a bang, the door was closed, Xiao Chong changed his shoes and walked in. Are there any guests? Noticing Icarus sitting motionless on the sofa, Xiao Chong asked. There are no guests, but there is one in the family. Ling Zon came from the kitchen with a teacup in hand. Brother, give me a hug. Ling Zon put down the teacup, and naturally hugged the rushing Xiao Chong into his arms. Brother, who is this sister? Xiao Chong, who was lying on Ling Zon's shoulder, asked curiously. Her name is Icarus and she will live with us from today on. Icarus, she is Xiao Chong, my sister. Icarus stood up, looked at Xiao Chong's expressionless face, and said, Hello, little master. Sitting in Ling Zong's arms, Xiao Chong opened his big golden eyes and looked at Icarus curiously, What does master mean? It's just a pet name. After speaking, Ling Zong looked at Icarus, Icarus, I can just call her Xiao Chong from now on. Yes, master. Icarus firmly carried out every order of Ling Zong. Regarding this, Ling Zon is not in a hurry, and wants Icarus to have himself, he has to take it step by step. Hi sister, Xiao Chong greeted Icarus, hi Xiao Chong. Brother, why does this sister look dumb? Xiao Chong whispered into Ling Zon's ear. Ling Zon smiled slightly. Icarus's character is a bit naturally dull, Xiao Chong, you can take her out to play in the future. Okay, Xiao Chong readily agreed. After dinner, Icarus followed Aisha to wash the dishes. Ling Zon, on the other hand, was leaning on the sofa, staring at the ceiling in a daze. Brother, what are you thinking? 
Xiao Chong crawled into Ling Zan's arms, looked at the dazed Ling Zan and asked. I'm thinking about a graduation trip. Ling Zan patted Xiao Chong's head, held Xiao Chong's buttocks and hugged the latter into his arms. A fresh fragrance came, which calmed Ling Zan's mind a lot. As Alicia said, a cute girl is a treasure from heaven. Is it because of what happened to sister Aisha? Xiao Chong, who was lying in Ling Zan's arms, thought of something and asked. It's just a fallen angel, I haven't taken it to heart yet. Ling Zan scratched Xiao Chong's pink cheeks. Ling Zan, Xiao Chong, which chess piece do you like the most? Chess, is it the chess played by the grandpas in the park? Xiao Chong asked. Not that, I said chess. Ling Zan took out his mobile phone, searched for chess pieces and showed them to Xiao Chong. Well, I choose the queen. After holding the phone with both hands and looking at it for a while, Xiao Chong said. Queen, well, then Xiao Chong, you are my only queen. Ling Zan smiled and lifted Xiao Chong high. We. Oui. Xiao Chong who was hugged also showed a smile. Although she didn't know why Ling Zan asked this, but when Ling Zan was happy, she was happy. By the way, brother, let me tell you something. Sitting in Ling Zan's arms again, Xiao Chong spoke to Ling Zan as if he had thought of something. Well, you say, I saw Sister Alicia's live broadcast today. She seems to be a well-known up host at Station B. Xiao Chong looked serious. Live streaming, Ling Zan was a little taken aback, but not surprised. According to Alicia's personality who is good at chatting, it's actually quite normal to be an up. One will take the initiative to find topics and will not embarrass you. A girl who speaks cutely and nicely, everyone will like her. So Xiao Chong, you and Alicia live together today? Ling Zan asked curiously. Well, but Sister Ellie didn't let me show my face, but changed a lot of clothes for me. What's her account name? Ling Zan opened Station B and asked. Xiao Chong. Miss Pink Fairy. Ah, after hearing the name, Ling Zan was stunned for a moment, and then typed out the name with some uncertainty. Suddenly found that Alicia has tens of millions of fans at Station B. I'll go, that's fine. Looking at the huge number of fans, even he was shocked. Ling Zan thought that Alicia's popularity would be very high, but he didn't expect it to be so high. Throughout the entire Station B, Alicia is the only one who has tens of millions of ups, and she is not even as many as the official one. Are you sure it's Alicia? With a sigh of emotion, Ling Zan flipped through the video posted by Alicia. The videos in it are all kinds of strange things, almost all inclusive, and the video with the most views is the video of Alicia and Superstar Eden cooking together. After searching for a while, Ling Zan found a very outrageous theme. Alicia's small forum. It is full of Alicia's explanations and personality analysis of beautiful girls with various personalities. There are Yuji, Lolita, Black Belly, etc. There are 13 episodes of a character video, so far. Ha, huh, this is. Ling Zan clicked on the latest video. Except for Alicia, everyone else in the picture was mosaic. It was a photo of them eating hot pot and shopping last night, but it was edited into a video. However, when Ling Zan saw the comments below, his face darkened. Because he was the only boy in the audience, he was brutally targeted. Men's girlfriends, eating soft food, wanting to stab him, wanting to castrate him, etc. There are comments, and Ling Zan's head is full of black lines. He is very dissatisfied with the soft rice, and it is not what he wants to eat. Who makes the stomach soft? Don't talk about eating soft rice, I dare to sleep. Single quote. After discussing something in his inner circle, Ling Zan decisively followed and exited Station B. Brother, don't you read it? This society is very unfriendly to people with good looks and talents. Ling Zan sighed and said something that made Xiao Chong feel inexplicable. But she doesn't care about these. Brother, if you don't read it, can you play with your phone? Take it. Ling Zan gave the phone to Xiao Chong. Thank you, brother. Mua, Xiao Chong took a sip of Ling Zan's cheek and happily picked up the phone. Xiao Chong, come take a shower. After a while, Aisha came over with the clothes and shouted to Xiao Chong. Coming. Xiao Chong put down the phone decisively, jumped off the sofa and walked towards Aisha. Looking at Xiao Chong who left, Ling Zan couldn't help falling into memories of the past. Once upon a time, he was the one who bathed Xiao Chong. Ling Zan sighed, the years are gone forever. 
Icarus, come with me. Ling Zan sat up from the sofa and said something to Icarus next to him. Icarus followed closely behind. Ling Zan looked at the room he had used as a storage room before, and after turning it into a bedroom with the power of his core, he said to Icarus, this room will be yours from now on. Yes, master, Icarus Sanwu replied, you don't have to keep calling me master, just call me Ling Zan. Ling Zan, Icarus shouted tentatively, well, that's nice. Ling Zan rubbed Icarus's head. The latter didn't seem to understand why Ling Zan wanted to touch her head, and his gaze was still dull. 2100. Aisha's room. In bed, Elsa is depressed. She was obviously very sleepy, but she just couldn't fall asleep. She should have fallen asleep by this point. The scene of Ling Zan bringing Icarus back kept appearing in his mind. Boom. Just when Aisha was distressed, a sound of something falling to the ground came from outside, which made Aisha curious. At the same time, Ling Zan picked up the phone that fell on the ground. I was so fascinated by it that I accidentally dropped my phone on the ground. On a certain website, a book written by an author named Tianjiyuan was very appealing to him. He likes the three books very much, but it's a pity that, Dimension, opening remake of The Hersher of Thunder, was not written because of the author's own reasons, but he thinks it is quite good. Ba ba ba. At this time, there was a knock on the door suddenly. Immediately afterwards, the door was opened. Um. Ling Zan raised his head, and saw a golden figure in light blue pajamas walking in. Aisha, why don't you go to bed so late, what's the matter? Looking at Aisha, Ling Zan wondered. It's nothing, I just heard the movement and came to have a look. Aisha said. Can't sleep. Ling Zan seemed to see Aisha's thoughts, and said. Yeah, Aisha nodded. Ling Zan lifted the quilt patted the sheet and smiled at Aisha, then let's have a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Why, Aisha narrowed her eyes, and said with some uncertainty, yes, are you going to come in? Otherwise, wouldn't it be cold to stand outside? Ling Zan laughed. Well, Aisha's face turned red in an instant, and she glanced at Ling Zan timidly, but in the end she didn't refuse, and got into Ling Zan's bed. A soft touch came, and seeing Aisha sitting cautiously beside him, Ling Zan put his hands on Aisha's shoulders and gently hugged her into his arms. Quote exclamation mark quote. Her delicate body trembled, and Aisha's body stiffened suddenly as if seeing a frightened little white rabbit, Ling, Mr. Ling Zan. Relax, I won't eat you again. Ling Zan gently pushed Aisha to lean on his chest. Quote dot quote. The warm chest made Aisha's stiff body gradually relax. Aisha, do you like me? Looking at Aisha in his arms, Ling Zan suddenly asked. Why, don't you like it? Oh, seeing Aisha's astonished expression, Ling Zan sighed. No, no, not at all, I like Mr. Ling Zan very much. Seeing Ling Zan's lost look, Aisha's heart bulged, and she said hastily. How much do you like it? Well, Aisha didn't expect Ling Zan to come here, and she ran out of words for a while. Ha ha, I won't tease you anymore. Ling Zan rubbed Aisha's head. However, what he didn't expect was that Aisha's next words stunned him. Then Ling Zan, do you have feelings for me? Aisha raised her head, her cheeks were blushing, but her green eyes were extremely firm, she was waiting for Ling Zan's answer. Lowering his head, Ling Zan met a pair of timid but firm eyes. Quote dot 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 quote. Aisha, you know, after saying this, I can't go back tonight. After a moment of silence, Ling Zan stretched out his hand to brush Aisha's hair, and gently stroked her soft cheek. With his index finger groping on that fair cheek, Ling Zan said softly. Mr. Ling Zan, I don't just want to be your believer. Aisha's beautiful eyelashes trembled, and she looked at Ling Zan stubbornly. Ready. The two looked at each other quietly for a while, and Ling Zan asked. Um, as if he had already thought of the follow-up, his voice sounded like a mosquito urging. Close your eyes, and look like you are picking. Ling Zan caressed Aisha's cheek, looked at those pink lips like cherry blossoms, and leaned down slightly. This night, the first mistress of the family was born. The next day, ah, accompanied by a soft groan, Aisha slowly opened her eyes. A handsome side face was reflected in the emerald green eyes. Quote exclamation mark quote. Looking at Ling Zan's profile, Aisha shuddered, and the events of last night could not help appearing in her mind, and her originally fair cheeks turned red instantly. It's okay if you don't want to, 
and Aisha's face turns red when she thinks about it. Originally, she pulled up the quilt and covered her head with a thin face. Then it was slowly pulled down, timidly looking at Ling Zan who was still sleeping. Hey he smirked, Mr. Ling Zan looks so good sleeping. What laughing, at this moment, a voice suddenly sounded beside Aisha's ear. Ah, Aisha shuddered like a frightened little rabbit. Not for anything else, just because Ling Zan bit her ear, which happened to be her most sensitive place. Madam, is there anything interesting? You can share it with me. Letting go of Aisha's ears, Ling Zan hugged Aisha into his arms, smelling the fragrance from Aisha's body, and said with a smile. No, nothing. Aisha's face was as red as a persimmon. If Ling Zan knew that he was reminiscing about what happened last night, would it make him feel that he was indiscreet? Well, I'm going to make breakfast. No, I'll help you. Ling Zan kissed Aisha's forehead lightly, just take a good rest today. No, Mr. Ling Zan, have you forgotten that you are going to Zhuang Town together today? Aisha said. Your body, I have a solution, Ling Zan, go down first. Aisha blushed. As if thinking of something, Ling Zan touched Aisha's head, sorry. You don't need to apologize, Ling Zan, you like it so much, I'm also very happy. Aisha's words became weaker and weaker, and finally buried her head in the quilt again. Ling Zan chuckled, stretched out his hand, and poked Aisha's belly. Ah, Aisha was startled, and quickly poked her head out of the bed. Gone, run away after playing, Ling Zan interpreted this sentence very well. Aisha looked at Ling Zan's back, blushing, Ling Zan, bad. Here, as soon as Ling Zan went downstairs, he saw a pink figure sitting on the sofa. Icarus, master, Icarus stood up and looked at Ling Zan. Wake up so early, Ling Zan who came over touched Icarus' head. The soft touch makes people love it. Master, this is a mobile phone, there are games on it, you play for a while, I'll make breakfast. Icarus looked at the phone in a daze. Then open it, click on a game at random, and start playing. In order to help Aisha recover, Ling Zan specially stewed tremella pear soup. As time goes by, Aisha brought Xiaochong down from upstairs, and of course Ruishui in Xiaochong's arms. Mr. Ling Zan, why did you come down by yourself, come and sit down. Ling Zan helped Aisha pull out the chair, and helped Aisha to sit down. Xiaochong, not only Xiaochong, but Ruishui also looked astonished. Why is Ling Zan, who is usually lazy, so active today? Do nothing to be courteous. Xiao Chong squinted her eyes and looked at Ling Zan and Aisha. She was keen to see that they were hiding something from her at a glance. Don't be so troublesome, Aisha said with some embarrassment. It's okay, come and taste it, the temperature is just right. Ling Zan brought the white fungus pear soup to Aisha. Brother, where's mine? Xiao Chong, who was sitting on the seat, asked. What about this? Ling Zan put the milk and buns in front of Xiao Chong. Quote question mark quote. Brother, I also want to drink white fungus soup. Children should drink more milk and some white fungus soup. After saying something to Xiao Chong, Ling Zan looked at Aisha. If it's not enough, there will be more in the pot. Xiao Chong, little Chong, I'll give you my sisters. Aisha smiled and pushed the tremella soup in front of her to Xiao Chong. Thank you, sister Aisha. Xiao Chong happily accepted it. Ling Zan didn't say much, but filled another bowl for Aisha. By the way, take out the fruit platter of mango, lychee, apple and dragon fruit. Abba Baba, Xiao Chong stared blankly. Something is wrong, something is wrong. Brother, sister Aisha, are you hiding something from me? Xiao Chong asked. No, what could be the matter? Ling Zan pretended to be stupid. Xiao Chong, impossible. Absolutely impossible, although brother, you are usually very good to sister Aisha, but you will definitely not be partial like today. Yeah, yes, Xiao Chong affirmed, Ling Zan, perhaps my conscience found out. Ah, Xiao Chong looked at Ling Zan in a daze. Aisha has worked so hard for this family, and usually takes care of your daily necessities, shouldn't she be taken care of more? Well, it should, Xiao Chong frowned, and his little head began to function. Really, think about who washes your clothes, and who tidies up your toys for you. It's Sister Aisha, who coaxed you to sleep at night. Sister Aisha, right, so it's only natural for me to take care of Aisha more. Xiao Chong nodded. Should, look, 
Isn't that right? Ling Zong laughed. Why? Xiao Chong was stunned, and frowned cutely. Although what her brother said was correct, she always felt that something was weird. Aisha stared at Xiao Chong who was in a tangled state and couldn't help but froze. She didn't expect Ling Zong to explain it like this. Immediately burst out laughing. Poor Xiao Chong, she was tricked by her brother. Rulishui ate breakfast calmly. She didn't say anything, but she had already seen through everything. After breakfast, Ling Zong talked with Aisha and the others, and then went to school. For the graduation trip, you need to follow the school bus. Only when you arrive in Zhuang Town will the imaginary space be open to pick everyone up. When Ling Zong stepped into the school, he found that the playground in front of the school was already full of buses. I've been waiting for you for a long time. The moment Ling Zong entered the classroom, a familiar figure walked over and put his arms around his shoulders. Who are you giving it to? Dad, Ling Zong broke free from Han Cheng's hand. Aren't you sick? Han Cheng joked and put his hand on Ling Zong's shoulder again. This time Ling Zong didn't break free, because he knew that even if he broke free again, the other party would still catch up. Ling Zong, Tan Yukin, who had been sitting on his seat playing with his mobile phone, his eyes lit up when he saw Ling Zong, put down his mobile phone immediately, and waved happily. The surrounding students all showed surprise eyes, and Tan Yukin has never seen Tan Yukin so caring for other students. Good morning, Ling Zan nodded and sat down next to her. Seeing that the teacher didn't come, Han Cheng took a stool and sat behind the two of them. When to set off? Asked Ling Zan who put the phone on the table. It's only 8 o'clock now, so it must be 8.20 anyway. Han Cheng glanced at the time and said, besides, there are too many senior high school graduates. We are in class 5, so we may have to wait a while. Ling Zan nodded. Ling Zan, how are you getting along with Aisha recently? Tan Yukin asked suddenly. She still hasn't forgotten that Ling Zan said that she had a girlfriend when she was eating braised chicken. Quote dot 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 quote. Han Cheng immediately shut his mouth tightly, and he could not intervene in the next thing. It's pretty good, she's taking care of everything big and small at home. Ling Zan said directly without ambiguity. Are you happy together? N. Ling Zan nodded. Then, have you broken through the last floor? Tan Yukin asked with some expectation. Puff, Han Cheng, who was watching the show, sprayed it out. He looked at Tan Yukin dumbfounded, what kind of problems are these? Sure enough, Ling Zan frowned. Don't ask this kind of question again, and I can't answer you. Sorry, Tan Yukin's eyes darkened. She was admitted to Capital University, Han Cheng was going to Zhongcheng University, and Ling Zan did not choose to go to school. The three were about to separate, which made her eager to get an answer. It's a pity that I didn't get the answer I expected. Ling Zan didn't say anything more, and the two started playing with their mobile phones on their own, embarrassing Han Cheng who was behind them. What is this? If you make friends, you make friends, why bother with love? This book is a brainless essay, not a romance essay. But at this time he didn't know how to speak. Can't Ling Zan give up Aisha and choose Tan Yukin, or enlighten Tan Yukin to accept the harem? No matter which one he couldn't speak well. Oh. Finally, Han Cheng sighed tiredly, picked up the chair and returned to his seat. Students, it's time for class, learn cultural knowledge, and be a pioneer boy. After a while, the class bell rang. The head teacher came in, first said something sensational, and then organized the students to leave the class and gather in the playground downstairs. Looking at Ling Zan's back, Tan Yukin clenched her hands tightly. If, if she had expressed her intention earlier, would the result have been different? On the bus, Ling Zan sat in the middle of the car by the window, next to Han Chang. I didn't expect to graduate so soon, alas. Looking at the school building outside the window, Han Chang couldn't help feeling sad. Recalling all kinds of things, I couldn't give up for a while. Ling Zan, don't be emotional just come back and have a look. You really don't think about going to college? Han Cheng asked unwillingly. Ling Zan. After a moment of silence, Ling Zan took out a blank god's eye. Imaginary energy poured out of it, and soon, this blank god's eye became the eye of imaginary. Then, Ling Zan threw it to Han Cheng. What is this? Looking at the god's eye in his hand, Han Cheng showed a puzzled expression. If you want to come back, 
just inject a bit of spiritual energy into it, which can open the space channel connecting you and Kanglin City. Ling Zan propped his chin with one hand, and said, looking at the rapidly passing scenery outside the window. I see. Han Cheng didn't say much and put it away. What are you going to do about Yukin? Cold salad. Don't tell me you don't see that she likes you. I can see it, but I have already established a relationship with Aisha. Ling Zan said flatly. Quote dot quote. In an instant, Han Cheng had no intention of continuing to match. You fool. Thinking of Ling Zan having so many beautiful girls around him, he was so angry that he wanted to strangle him to death. Ling Zan smiled and said, I wish you can find true love soon. However, as soon as he finished speaking, Han Cheng's next sentence stunned him. I have found it. Found it. Ling Zan asked in surprise. Well, it's her. Han Cheng took out a photo from the album and put it in front of Ling Zan, and smiled foolishly, how is it, is it cute? Ling Zong looked curiously. However, it's okay if you don't look at it, but Ling Zong's brain crashed when he looked at it. Donju, in the picture, is a playful figure. After seeing the people on Han Cheng's phone, he couldn't sit still. Hey, do you know Ling Zong too? Han Cheng was surprised, and then suddenly realized, that's right, she is also a top 100 famous up in Station B. Ling Zong, looking at the characters on the phone, Han Cheng smiled, I only paid attention to her in the last few days. When I came back to my senses and found that I would feel uncomfortable if I didn't see her for a day, I knew that I couldn't do without her. Quote dot 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 quote. Ling Zong was shocked to find that all of Han Cheng's photo albums were screenshots or videos of Dan Zhu and Kang Zong's live broadcast. Immediately afterwards, I saw Han Cheng arrive with an embarrassed face. Actually, I went to Zhongcheng University this time because they were there. I plan to try my luck. Ling Zan's mind was in a mess at the moment. Forget about Alicia and the others, and now even Donju Kengshuan has appeared. System, are you sure I'm not in the collapsed parallel world? Ling Zan was a little suspicious for a while. Ding, no, the system's answer is affirmative. And here, after showing Ling Zan Donju's photos, Han Cheng started the next topic. Speaking of which, I always have some strange dreams recently. In my dream, I would enter a sea of flames. In the flames, a man kept calling my name, but when I approached, there was nothing. Do you think some top you demons would want to sign a contract with me? I think it's because you've eaten too little Paxil. Ling Zan casually supported his forehead. He is still shocked by what happened to Donju and Kangshuan, so he has no time to deal with his brother Han Cheng. You, I'm not sick, how could I eat that stuff? Han Cheng looked unhappy. Ling Zong was speechless, quietly watching the scenery flashing by outside. One thing to say, now he also has the urge to meet Kangshuan and Donju. As time passed, the noisy interior of the car also quieted down. Some fell asleep, some played with their phones with earphones on, and some kept muttering to their friends to turn on the hotspot. Ling Zong, who had nothing to do, continued to watch Mu Yuan's new work. The author just sent a notice and it will be on shelves on Friday. I don't know if there will be an update. Ling Zan, who swiped the screen, seemed to remember something, and communicated with the system through consciousness. System, haven't you given me the sign-in today? Ding, today's sign-in has been opened, may I ask the host to sign in? A system beep followed. Sign-in. Ding, sign-in successfully, congratulations to the host for getting the virtual flash. Spirit pressure cannon, right. Ling Zan, who had obtained the false flash, stretched out his hand, and saw the red thunder light on his index finger condensed into a finger-sized ball of light, a bit like a laser. After playing for a while, Ling Zan dissipated the aura from his hands, and curiously asked the system, usually, you come to remind me in the morning, why is it so late today? The system is very straightforward. Ding. The system sees that the host and Miss Aisha are in love, and can't bear to disturb. Hearing the system's words, Ling Zan's expression changed slightly, did you see it? Ding, before the host started working, the system had already entered a state of sleep. Ling Zan curled his lips, it's not up to you to decide what to say. Ding ding ding. Suddenly, the notification tone of the message kept ringing in Ling Zan's mind. This made Ling Zan put down his phone temporarily, close his eyes and enter the group chat. Ling Zan, who called me? 
Xiao Chong. Brother, it's me. Ling Zan. Xiao Chong, what's wrong? Xiao Chong. Sister Alicia asked me to ask where you have been. Ling Zan. I still have half an hour to arrive here. Xiao Chong. Good. Morax. Where did the group leader go to play? Ling Zan. It's just a graduation trip. It's no different from an ordinary city. The only fun is that there are three kinds of creatures here, angels, demons, and fallen angels. I can't see. They are all creatures recorded in the Western Bible. The genius of the winning team, is there an angel? Could the group leader take a photo? Ling Zan. It depends on the situation, I will take pictures for you. Winning genius. Thank you so much. Quote dot 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 quote. After chatting for a while, Ling Zan started to read the novel again. Half an hour later, the bus drove into the open-air parking lot in Zhuang Town. Wake up, ready to get off. The head teacher stood up and clapped his hands. Ha, huh, has it arrived yet? Han Cheng who was woken up was sleepy and a little dazed. Let's go. Throwing the headset and mobile phone into the system space casually, Ling Zan said. At this time, I can experience the convenience of spatial ability. In the past, when I went out with so much luggage, I was exhausted before playing. Immediately, all the students got off the bus expectantly. This graduation trip lasted three days and two nights, something Ling Zan had never experienced in his previous life. After all, school is not a place for him to relax in his perception. Um, Ling Zan, who had just got off the car, suddenly saw a red figure from the corner of his eye. Looking at him, I saw Rias, Kitten, Himahima Akino, and Kiba Yudo, all of Rias' family members standing there looking at him. Looking at each other, Rias smiled. Quote dot 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 quote. After a moment of silence, Ling Zan also nodded in response. What are you looking at? Han Cheng was curious. Following Ling Zan's line of sight, his pupils lit up. So many beautiful girls. It's just that the golden retriever is a bit of an eyesore. Don't look, all the halazi have fallen, let's gather. Ling Zan patted Han Cheng's head and said. Hey, what's the hurry, maybe I can ask for a contact information. Didn't you say you like Danju? Looking at the future is different from grasping the present. Han Cheng said with a mean smile. Do you also want to seize the future? Ling Zan couldn't help complaining. Hello, I am the student council president of Kuo Academy, Shido Sona, and we will be responsible for the period of your school's graduation trip. At this time, a voice came. I saw a group of students in Kuo Academy uniforms communicating with the leading teacher. Since Iwakuni unified the whole of Asia, the former so-called countries have also been annexed, and most of them have become autonomous regions, such as the former Sakura province of the former island country. This one looks good too. It's strange. Why didn't I find so many beauties in this place when I came last time? Han Cheng rubbed his chin. Unless you have the strength to fight the devil, I advise you not to think about her. After glancing at Han Cheng, Ling Zan said. The devil, you mean the person behind her is the devil. But how do you know? Han Cheng was puzzled. Guess. After speaking, Ling Zan walked towards the team. Don't go, speak clearly. Han Cheng hurriedly followed. Dot dot dot. The graduation trip was led by a Kuo College volunteer with 10 students. Due to distribution problems, there are three schools in Zhuang Town today. The number of people who came to participate in the graduation trip this time is not too many, or too few, and the total number is mostly around 1,000. So, is that you? Ling Zan looked at the silver petite girl in front of him, with a strange expression on his face. Um, the kitten nodded slightly. I thought Rias would come in person. The minister said, I have been in contact with you for a long time. Kitty said flatly. Isn't this the little sister who distributed the flyers last time? Is she in high school? Looking at the kitten Han Cheng was also surprised. This body shape is not an exaggeration to say that it is the first year of junior high school. However, do you know him? The rest of the surrounding students also cast their eyes on Ling Zan. It's just a few chats. Ling Zan said, it's the first time I've met you. My name is Tashung Kitten. Next, I will show you around Zhuang Town. Kitty introduced himself. Kitten, is there anyone else with this name? Han Cheng scratched his head in confusion. I always feel like a pet, although the kitten looks cute. 
The girls behind looked at each other and stepped forward one after another. Hey, can I call you Kitty? One asked. Um, Kit and Sanwu nodded. Wow, small, so cute. Not only is the person cute, but the name is also so cute. Little cat, how old is this year? How high do you go? Do you have a boyfriend? A group of girls ran up to the kitten, chattering. Is their enthusiasm too great? Han Cheng forced a smile. Ling Zan chuckled. Girls, they always lack resistance to cute things. For some reason, Alicia subconsciously appeared in his mind. Little cat, little cat, where shall we go first? A girl who put the big cat on the kitten's head asked expectantly. This way, turning a blind eye to the lump of meat on its head, the kitten pointed in a direction and walked forward. The rest followed. She came to be a volunteer at such a young age, isn't she afraid of being trafficked? Han Cheng, who was walking beside Ling Zan, looked at the kitten in front of him and couldn't help muttering. Just looking at Xiao Chao, if you really want to fight, even you can't hold her back a few times. So strong, Han Cheng believed in Ling Zan's words, so he was very surprised. Try it if you don't believe me. Ling Zan frowned and joked. Forget it. I'm not crazy enough to attack little girls. Han Cheng shook his head. That's a pity. Ling Zan was disappointed. He really wanted to see the scene of Han Cheng being chased and killed by the little cat sister Hei Zhe all the way. Hiss, why do I feel a little cold behind my back? Han Cheng shivered for a while. Ling Zan, drink more magma. Little cat, is there someone named Ise Hyodo in your school? Ling Zan looked at the kitten loved by all the girls and said, the kitten was taken aback, and looked at Ling Zan suspiciously, what do you want him for? The corner of Ling Zan's mouth raised, that's right. The kitten didn't speak. Ling Zan chuckled, he had already got the answer he wanted. Then the next topic was asked, did that roast chicken come to find Rias? The kitten was stunned, roast chicken, it's Phoenix. When hearing Ling Zan say this surname, the pupils of the kitten shrank slightly. Don't be nervous, just keep it as a small talk. Ling Zan chuckled. But even so, in Xiao Mao's heart, Ling Zan's danger has been raised to a higher level. Phoenix, I remember it seems to be the phoenix in the 72 demon gods, right? Han Cheng, who heard it next to him, thought about it and said. I read it in my dad's book collection. Their tears are a good thing, and they are priceless internationally. It's really a good thing. It can be saved even in one breath. Ling Zan said. The kitten quietly listened to the conversation between the two. Oh, it's almost time, kitten, you can take them to play first, I'll leave for a while. Glancing at the phone, Ling Zan smiled at the kitten. Where are you going? Kitten asked warily. Seeing such a cute kitten, he wanted to tease her for a moment. Immediately, he said the name that made the kitten tremble. Ling Zan opened his mouth slowly, saying word by word, find Tashung Haig. Quote exclamation mark quote. After hearing this name, the kitten's breathing became violent. The shortness of breath made her unable to hold back her chest and knelt on the ground. Don't be too familiar with this name. Little cat, what's wrong? The people around said nervously after seeing the appearance of the kitten. Ling Zan, what did you do to the kitten? A girl asked loudly. The sound also attracts those around you. Ling Zan looked at the kitten kneeling on the ground with a calm expression. If you only have this ability to bear it, don't even think about spying on me. After finishing speaking, he walked towards the side and got away from the crowd. Hey, why are you going? Han Cheng was a little dazed. He looked at the kitten kneeling on the ground, then at Ling Zan's back, and finally chose to follow. Ling Zan, what's the matter with you? It feels weird that you're here. Han Cheng who caught up with Ling Zan was puzzled. It's nothing. I just want to tell them not to come to the so-called temptation. Test. What? Who tried you? Hey, kid. Not far from the kitten, a man with short black and blonde hair looked at the direction Ling Zan was leaving and gently shook the red wine in his hand. It seems that the other party has already discovered him. That sentence seemed to be said to the kitten, but most of it was said to him. I even know the history of cats being banned from the underworld. It seems that this little brother is really not an ordinary person. Are you right, Valley? The man looked at the tall silver figure behind him. It doesn't matter. Valley lacks interest. At this moment, he just wants to find his old enemy Sekuyuti in his destiny and fight him. Hee <laughs> hee. 
Asachal chuckled, a strange light flashed in his pupils. That's it. Ling Zan came to an open space. Why don't you leave? Traveling alone is really boring. Ling Zan sighed. Quote question mark question mark question mark quote. Han Cheng looked at Ling Zan in astonishment. I'm not human. Snapped. With the crisp sound of snapping fingers, the dark golden imaginary space opened in front. Hey, did you miss me? Waving her small hand, the pink beauty walked out of the imaginary space and smiled sweetly at Ling Zan. Han Cheng's face froze instantly. No, next one. It's so heartless, aggressive boys don't attract girls. Alicia teased. Ling Zan, maybe I don't like it during the day, but I definitely love it at night. Ah, Alicia's brain was buzzing. The sudden addition of knowledge caught her off guard for a while. Okay, don't block it, come out quickly. Grabbing Alicia's jade-like arm, she pulled it out of the imaginary space. Oops, Alicia looked at Ling Zan who grabbed her arm in surprise. This was the first time she had physical contact with a boy. Compared with the cool and smooth hands of girls, Ling Zan's hands were warmer. Immediately after, under Han Chang's bewildered gaze. One, two, three. Alicia, Kiana, Mei, Branya, Icarus, Aisha, Xiaochong, a total of seven girls came into his sight. See you again, little brother. Alicia greeted Han Chang with a smile. Ah, you, hello. Han Chang said quickly, but he still hasn't recovered from the shock. Aisha, how is your body? Ling Zan helped Aisha out. It's ready, Aisha blushed and said. As Aisha sick, Kiana asked without knowing why. I accidentally sprained my leg when I went downstairs, Aisha said quickly. Then be more careful, Kiana had no doubts about him. Alicia, do you know a person named Dan Zhu? Ling Zan consciously changed the subject. Why, can't so many girls satisfy you? Ask for him, Ling Zan pointed to Han Cheng beside him. Ah, Han Cheng was taken aback, and subconsciously pointed to himself. So that's how it is. Brother, you like Danju. Alicia looked at Han Chang, and finally asked with great interest. Do you know Dan Zhu? Han Chang asked in a daze. I know you, Sister Danju is a lively and active girl. It took a lot of effort to get her to submit. The corner of Ling Zan's mouth twitched. Give in. Oh, it's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Realizing the problem with her words, Alicia quickly covered her mouth and corrected. As long as you are happy. Aha, Alicia laughed like a musical note. No, no, now is not the time to talk about this. Han Cheng shook his head and threw out the strange thoughts in his mind. Ling Zan, are you going to take them for a stroll? Ling Zan, is there any question? Kiana, yeah, what's the problem? Alicia wondered, can't you? Quote dot quote, hey, don't bring such a bully. Han Cheng collapsed, he is so sour, really sour. It was as if he had eaten a lemon, which changed his face beyond recognition. I really wanted to strangle Ling Zan to death, but the truth was that I couldn't beat him. Ling Zan took a step forward, patted Han Cheng on the shoulder, and comforted, when a beam of light enters the darkness, then this beam of light is guilty, but if this beam of light never leaves the darkness, it is salvation. Brother, I would like to be the white moonlight that always shines on you. Get out, Han Cheng was filled with grief and indignation. Do you still want to ride on my head all the time? I looked at the travel guide, there is a large playground here, how about we go there? Kiana suggested. As long as it's with a cute girl, you can go anywhere. Alicia smiled as she stuck to Kiana's body. Let go of me, dead again. Kiana looked disgusted. Especially the lump of meat, which made her upset. Alicia chose to ignore Kiana's discomfort, and then posted it even tighter. Looking at the two people playing around, Ling Zan smiled slightly, go and play first, I still have something to do. Leave a few beautiful girls and leave alone, could it be? Alicia recently raised an arc. Ling Zan, do you have any unspeakable secrets? The height is 163, the weight is 54.8, and it is 55 kilograms when rounded up. It is really a perfect figure. I wonder which beautiful girl it is. Ling Zan glanced at Alicia and smiled slightly. Quote dot 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 quote. Not good. Ling Zan, how can a girl's weight and height be exposed at will? Alicia's face froze for a moment, but she quickly resolved the embarrassment with a joke. Ling Zan folded his arms and looked at her quietly. 
Alicia was defeated in an instant. Okay, I don't care about you, you can go wherever you want. Ling Zan said to Aisha, I'll be back in 10 minutes. Well, be careful on the road. Aisha chuckled lightly. Alicia blinked her eyes, glanced at Aisha, then at Ling Zan, the corners of her mouth curled into a beautiful arc. The young and beautiful girl and the vigorous boy lived under the same roof, and she wouldn't believe it if they said that there would be no sparks from friction. Han Chang, I will leave the guard work to you during this period. Just kidding, Ling Zan still trusts this friend very much. Han Chang put his fingers together and drew a horizontal line on the right front of his forehead. Don't worry, it's okay to leave it to me. There is a problem and I will castrate you. Han Chang. After the joke, Ling Zan entered the imaginary space. System, help me locate Issei Hyodo. Ding, the search is over. The other party's location instantly came into mind, Ling Zan stepped forward, and by the time he left the imaginary space, he had already arrived in a room. Snapped. At this time, the sound of books falling was heard. Ling Zan looked and found a boy with strange hair looking at him dully. The one that dropped before was a certain photo book. Quote dot 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 quote. Looking at the photo book that bounced off the ground, Ling Zan was silent for a while, but finally chose not to pick it up. He is already a family man, how can he indulge in the joy of books? After calming down, Ling Zan looked at Hyodo Issei and said, It's our first meeting, young man. Who are you? Why are you here at my house? Hyodo Issei looked at Ling Zan suspiciously. The typical island style hero character, if this is replaced by a Chinese style, he has probably already started looking for weapons to guard against. You don't need to know who I am, our meeting is just this moment. Ling Zan opened his eyes. The blue pupils were reflected in Hyodo Issei's. Next second, Duang. The world was shocked, and the color in the room switched to black and white in an instant. At this moment, both the consciousness and the beginning space-time are completely static in this room. Don't worry, it won't hurt. Walking up to Issei Hyodo, he took a look at the former hero. He raised his hand and slowly probed towards the latter's chest. Immediately afterwards, a miraculous scene appeared, Ling Zan's hand went directly into Hyodo Issei's body. After groping for a while in the space inside Hyodo Issei, Ling Zan paused. Found it. Without hesitation, he pulled out his hand directly. It was a dark green gemstone, about the size of a palm. The Red Dragon Emperor Didrag. Looking at the precious jade in his hand, Ling Zan was in a daze. Once upon a time, he also shouted the awakening words of Tyrannosaurus in the second grade, but he didn't expect that one day he would really get the power of Tyrannosaurus. The Red Dragon Emperor Drag and the White Dragon Emperor Arubian are collectively known as the biblical two heavenly dragons, and they are also extremely powerful in biblical mythology. The artifact that is lodged is called the God-Killing Tool, which translates as an artifact that can kill gods. Looks like she's still asleep. With a murmur, Ling Zan put Bao Yu into his chest, and Bao Yu merged with him under the control of the system. After merging with Bao Yu, Ling Zan only felt a warm current flow through his whole body. Quote exclamation mark quote. Next second, Ling Zan suddenly opened his eyes. Roar, the figure of the Scarlet Sky Dragon emerged in the void, sending out a shocking dragon chant. Valley, who was walking by the side of the road, suddenly stopped, and suddenly looked in the direction of Ling Zan, with a smile on his face, finally, Chiyu Ti appeared. Boom, with a step on the ground, Wally shot straight out. The pedestrians around were startled. After the fusion was completed, Ling Zan shook his right hand. Boost, a thick voice sounded. Looking again, Ling Zan's right hand was already covered by the red cage hand, like a dragon's claw. On the back of the hand is a dark green precious jade, which is exuding a strange light, and the voice before was also coming from the precious jade. Squeak when you wake up. Ling Zan said flatly. It's been such a long sleep, are you my current host? Sekuyuti's lazy voice came from Baoyu. It's the master. Ling Zan corrected. Master. Chilongdi was surprised, and then laughed loudly. Ha ha ha, I haven't met such an interesting host as you for a long time. But my master is not so easy to be. Just be quiet and give me your strength. With that said, Ling Zan immediately dismissed the cage hand. Chilongdi, who was in Ling Zan's mental space, suddenly became depressed. What's the situation with this host, 
take the initiative to wake it up, and don't let it speak now. Hello. At this time, a loud voice sounded in the void, and this voice hit the soul directly. The dragon soul of Diedrag who had just awakened was a little bit crumbling. Startled, Drag suddenly raised his head, and saw above it, a huge ball of light as dazzling as the sun was floating in midair. In comparison, his body was even smaller than an ant. Bible God, Drag subconsciously said, in its impression, apart from the God of the Bible, no one should have such a terrifying coercion anymore. Shaolong, can you play games? Drago, what? No, then chat with me, it's too tiring for me to be a quiet system. A sigh came from inside the ball of light. Drag was stunned. After handing Drag over to the system for training, Ling Zan didn't even look at Hyodo Issei, opened the imaginary space, and was about to leave. Boom, a huge explosion suddenly sounded, and a big hole was opened in the house of Hyodo Issei's house. Chuyuti, come and fight with me. Wally, who bears the wings of the White Dragon Emperor, said loudly. However, at this moment Ling Zan has stepped into the imaginary space. Ling Zan and Valley looked at each other across the air, and disappeared along with the imaginary space in the next second. Tisk, are you a step late? Seeing Ling Zan leaving, Valley let out an upset. At the same time, the other side, two girls came to Jawang Town, and one of them, a girl with short blue hair, was carrying a large sword wrapped in bandages on her back. Look, there are so many people here. The one speaking was a girl with brown twin ponytails, and she was looking at the huge street lively. Too many people is not a good thing. Compared to the brown-haired girl, the blue-haired girl seemed much calmer. She looked around sharply. What was about to happen was not friendly to these people. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.